Let there be light. Boom! What is going on? Happy Freaky Freaky Friday! What's going on, Michael M? Hello, hello. Gigi's in the building. Say hello to everybody, Gigi. Hello, everybody. Scott Jarvie's in the house. Michael M says, oh my, that was a tad loud on my end. Just a smidget, just a smidget loud on Friday. We're louder and a little bit on the wild side. So it's been a hectic Friday, but I am back. Michael M says, I'm dying. I just got back from the gym. Well, Michael M, good for you. That's a great way to end Friday. Well, we're just getting started. LAP's in the building. What's going on, LAP? Mrs. Mer <laughs> Mrs. Mercer, how's it going? She said, Saka Plata, for a second, I thought something was coming at me. <laughs> I am sorry if I alarmed you guys, if I startled you just a tad bit. But the energy level is at 11 out of 10 right now. The ginger ale is ready. Gigi's here right by my side, and I'm feeling marvelous. How are you guys doing tonight? C-Dub is in the building. Chris Brummett's in the house. Maria's in the building. Roxzilla's in the house. Mama Plata's in the house. Say hello to Mama Plata, everybody. Hello, Grandma. Michael Mercer, thank you for joining me. Peter's in the building. Happy Friday. I hope you guys are having a great Friday so far. We are fired up and wired up and ready to get started on this stream. Uh, we currently have three donators, so a special shout out to Triple S, Silver Stack and Stoner, and Breeze, and Mel's Coin Corner. Thank you guys so much for your support. We have one item in the Saka Plata jackpot. Mercer says, oh, Tata Plata's in the building. Tata Plata's with Mama Plata. So tell Tata Plata I said, hello, Mama Plata. <laughs> Just a little bit confusing. <laughs> Are the eyebrows starting to raise? All right, let's see. What, uh, Michael M says, Saka, your gift is done. Finally, Hopi, hope, Hopi. <laughs> Hopey, it's to your liking. Hopefully, it's to your liking. I'm sure I will love it, Michael M. Thank you so much for the uh, generosity. I appreciate you taking the time to do that for me. And I can't wait to see it. And uh, when I do receive it, I will do a mail call for it. Mel, what's going on, Mel's Coin Corner? Thank you so much for the donation, brother. You are third on the list behind uh, Silver Stack and Stoner and Breeze. Michael M says, Saka Plata, I'm sending you a couple of drawstring bags to help your poor individual drawstring. drawstring. Can I read? <laughs> I don't know if I can read today. Individual drawstring bag. Got it. <laughs> What's going on, US Silver Stacker? Thank you for joining me. How was your Friday, my friend? Glad to see you in the chat. Guys, we are starting off with a GG giveaway, but before we do that, let's go on and take a look at what the first item in the Saka Plata jackpot will be on tonight's stream. Boom! We have a one ounce Libertad, 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 three nines fine silver. Plata is in the building in more ways than one. So that is the first item in the Saka Plata jackpot. And I am aware I have a lot of great channels going on right now. So I'm not sure if we'll get to a second item, but who knows, guys. Currently, we had a 33.3% chance for Silver Stack and Stoner, Breeze, and Mel's Coin Corner. So the odds are in, definitely in their favor to take home the Libertad. And I felt a little draft. It must be Breeze in the building. What's going on, Breeze? Thank you so much for your donation. You are number two on the list. And uh, Omega Shadow is in the building. Thank you for joining me, Omega. Uh, U.S. Silver Stacker says, is it random comment picker now? No, we're going to play a giveaway game. We're doing a GG giveaway at her request. Uh, but I do have the free stream giveaway comment link right there i just put it in the chat oh and michael m actually beat me to it so thank you michael m for that 
Mrs. Mercer says, I smell silver in them rolls or the opossum finally made it in the house. Maybe a little bit of both. DC Bingo, B-I-N-G-O is in the building. Thank you for joining me, DC. Now, guys, I don't know if you noticed, but these are Brinks rolls, which I have not seen in, it has, it has to be over a month. Uh, we've been getting Dunbar rolls. So hopefully the Brinks rolls give us better luck. It's been quite some time since we've seen Brinks. Scott says, I just sent you 10 for rolls and four for what I owe you. All right. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate that. So let's get Scott Jarvie down here on the queue. I really appreciate the support, guys. Thank you for joining me on this Friday. I know there's going to be a whole bunch of hopping around here, guys. So you guys enjoy yourself. We'll have a good time here. We're going to hope for, that we pull some silver, but we're going to start off with a GG giveaway. So guys, without further ado, GG, take it away. So as you know, we are doing a GG giveaway right now. And the item that we are giving away is a BU Canadian Silver Dime. Boom! So... Daddy is going to write my question in the chat, and when you see it, you may begin. All right. So I'm going to uh, write the question that Gigi chose in the chat, and when you see it, as Gigi said, you can begin. All right. Uh, what's going on, King Sniper? Thank you for joining me. It is GG giveaway time. First person to get it will win. Perry Art is in the building. Thank you, Perry, for being here. All right. What is Gigi's favorite flower? Pink, yellow, we got it. We got it, we got it. Pink, we... yellow, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Roy? Roy's in the building. All right, so we, oh, David Chestnut's in the house. Thank you, David, for being here. So stop, you guys can stop in the name of love before you break my heart. And uh, I am going to announce the winner. Let's take a look here. Let's verify. Was that you, Michael M., that was guessing colors? <laughs> Michael M. tried to uh, play psychic there with Gigi. All right. So a flower and the winner is Mercer. Mrs. Mercer, congratulations. Gigi's favorite flower is a tulip. And you will be receiving a 1965 BU Canadian 10 cent coin. So there we have it. The first giveaway of the night. And uh, we have your wallet here. Now I've been so I did not get a chance to uh, complete that transaction that we spoke about email. So uh, and regarding your most recent email, I will also respond to you at a later date. I did not get a chance to respond to any emails today, guys, so I apologize for that. But I will as soon as tomorrow. You know, Freaky Freaky Friday is also a hectic Friday, and I literally got home a couple of hours ago, so it was right to setting up. As you see behind me, we will be, yes, these bills are real. King Sniper, you beat me to it. I was just going to segue into the beautiful history that you see in front of you. This is a 1899 Black Eagle. And uh, I don't know if you guys checked out Silver Nitrate's uh, mail call. He did a mail call for me, which I, I greatly appreciate the support. He was very happy with his Black Eagle. And we got another one, another one. We do have Black Eagles available. We may auction this off um, much later on in the stream. And we also have a 1917 United States dollar. So uh, very cool pieces of history. Saka, am I still the leader with the biggest battle royal giveaway win? Yes, you are, US. We have not done a battle royal in 
quite some time. I am looking to uh, definitely do that. I've been saying it for a while, but it's a little difficult to do a, uh, at this point, it's a little difficult to do a battle royal, but I'm looking to see how we can make that possible. For, uh, probably for 400 subscribers, since I did recently pass 400 subscribers, Michael Coretta's in the building. What's going on, Michael Coretta? Uh, so King Sniper, the starting bid for these items are going to be $50. They are not in the top-notch quality condition uh, that you may may have seen in Silver Nitrate's uh, video. So LAP says, hey, Saka Plot, at some point, do you ever want to do a box battle with me? Well, you challenge me, and I will accept it. We can uh, definitely pick a time. I am currently. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna toot my own horn here, guys. I am undefeated in live stream box battles. I have won in uh, half dollars, in nickels, and in pennies. So uh, I'm going to uh, bask in my glory until someone uh, basically shuts me down. <laughs> Perry says, "Are there any cherry pickers here?" We all love to pick cherries. Uh, I tell you what, I love going to the coin, uh, to the LCS and finding some very nice gems. And uh, I have found quite a bit. Shout out to the LCSs. Shout out to Viera. Shout out to God. And uh, I'm very fortunate to have some great people around me, including you great folks. Thank you guys for being here. Make sure you smash that like button. And King Sniper is at 50. Sniper is at 50. So Sniper wants in on, what is it, the Black Eagle or the Washington Dollar? You let me know. C-Dub says, when I come to Philly, I do a box battle with you, Saka. We can make it happen, C-Dub. Guys, the uh, International Numismatic Convention is about a week away. So that's January... 18th. That's on a Saturday, guys. It actually runs through Friday to Saturday. And uh, I have this pretty cool coupon here. $5 off admission. I believe admission is about $20. You get access to several, several cool events. So if anyone's looking to go, let me know. Maybe we can link up and go coin crazy. Perry Art says, I have a 1994 quarter. It is growing a root from the, the stem right on the branches, growing down. No crack. Well, I would have to take a look at that, Perry. If you would like to send me a picture of that quarter and you're looking for an opinion, you could send that to sockablapaNY at gmail.com. So, uh, just in case you need a close-up. Boom! There it is, all up in the grill. Roy says, in-person face reveal opportunity available. That's right. That's right, Roy. Grab Sheldon and grab and get your butts down to New York so we can uh go coin crazy. Coin silver is in the building. What's going on, coin silver? We are just getting started. Please make sure to smash that like button. For those just joining us, you just missed the GG giveaway, but we will have giveaways uh, coming up. We do have some coin roll hunting to get to. King Sniper, King Sniper wants to start with the Black Eagle. I need a show of hands. Should I auction this Black Eagle off like right now? We do have. Oh no, <laughs> that might be a sign not to do it, but we'll see. Uh, let's see here. Scott Jarvey, are the pennies with no FG common? Scott, I am not well-versed when it comes to pennies, uh, but the no FG, uh, I would have to look into that as far as pennies. I am aware that there are no FGs in half dollars. Uh, although not common, they're not worth that much unless it's in high grade. So uh, what's going on, Gold Miner? Thank you for joining me, Gold Miner. 
We will be doing some giveaways. We'll be doing some coin roll hunting. I have Brinks rolls here. So at least for temporarily, we, we take a break from the Dunbar rolls. Hopefully there is silver in here. We have four donators, guys. So currently a 25% chance for each donator to take home the boom, one ounce Libertad, Libertad, Libertad. So there we go. There we have it. You know what? I'm feeling so nice. Let's do another giveaway before we get started. We have 28 people in the chat. Kennedy's in the building. What's going on, Kennedy? So let's get one more giveaway going. And uh, let's see. We'll give away a buffalo. This is a 1929 buffalo from Philly. So that away. And I am going to enter something into the chat. And guys, if you haven't yet commented on the free stream giveaway, video take a second to do so we will be doing random comment picker giveaways as well but let's do a game 27 people in the chat i think it's a great time to play a game so uh oh man i tell you what guys i love fridays do you feel that energy i feel the energy oozing from the chat and when you see this in the chat you can begin and it has to be the full name, the full name, full spelling, correct spelling. You know the drill, guys. U.S. State. Go. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? Gold Miner says, what's up with the bills in the back there? Yes, these bills will be auctioned off today. Boom, we have a winner. We have another winner. Now, here's the deal. Everyone knows the deal. Everyone knows the deal. You cannot win more than one time in a game giveaway. And that goes for a random comment picker. You cannot win more than one time in a random comment picker. So stop in the name of love. We have a winner, but this winner is going to have to pay it forward to someone in the chat, or they are going to have to. Uh, we're going to have to do this again. So the winner that I have here on my screen is Mercer, Alabama. So congratulations, Mercer. Unfortunately, you did win a game just about five minutes, 10 minutes ago. So Mercer, you need to give it to someone else in the chat or we can run it back, run it back. You let me know what you want to do. And once again, Gold Miner, I will be auctioning these bad boys off. Speaking of bad boys, we have a visit from my first five ounce silver. Oh, man. It just feels marvelous. What's going on, Triple S? Triple S, thank you so much for being here and for your donation, brother. I really appreciate it. So uh, Mrs. Mercer says, Saka Plata, give it to Mr. Breeze. So Mr. Breeze, you get a buffalo. What's going on, Gibby? Gibby, what's going on? Thank you for joining me. I'm sorry that I was late to your uh, giveaway, but it, it popped up on my uh, channel queue and I, I didn't even noticed that it was released a week ago so i apologize for not seeing that earlier all right so i'm going to pull the bill out since i'm getting a lot of requests uh let's put this in miss mr breeze's wallet first so congratulations mr breeze what's going on deborah finder uh if i'm if i missed you in the chat i apologize guys Thank you for being here. There is a lot of other, other places that you can be. So I'm glad you guys are here with me on this freaky, freaky Friday. I am fired up and wired up. You see the ginger ale. All right. So let's take a look here. This is a black eagle. What's going on, G-Dub? This is a black eagle, 1899 silver certificate. Now, for those that saw Silver Nitrate's video, that Black Eagle was much, much 
uh, more valuable because of the condition. This, however, is not as great, but you see the corns are all intact. Now, the reverse or the back of the bill has two creases here, but still in one piece. So the bill is intact and in one piece and in pretty decent shape. So I figured, hey, let me auction this off because the uh, first Black Eagle that was sold on my channel went for $190. So I said, this is probably uh, going to go for a lot less than that, being that the condition was not in comparison to the previous one. So by show of hands, who's interested? We have King Sniper wanting to do the $50 bid. Now, King Sniper, I do have to ask if you're 18 or older because I cannot accept bids from someone younger than 18 unless they have written permission from their parents. So uh, if anyone is interested in bidding on this item, the starting bid will be $50, but I would like a show of hands to those that would be interested in bidding on this. Normally, we do not start the auction now. Cajun, what's going on? Cajun Coin Hunter is in the building. I was live early and someone said you were coming on. I can't stay. I have house guests stopping. In. Well, thank you for popping in. You enjoy your Friday, brother. Thank you so much for being here and for smashing that like button. And you enjoy the rest of your Friday and your weekend. And tell your house guests I said hello. Is anybody out there? So King Sniper, you are interested, but I do need confirmation that you are 18 or older. If you are 18 or older, then you will be permitted to uh, bid. If not, I would have to uh, wait to receive uh, consent from your parents because the COPA laws on YouTube are pretty strict and I do not want to take the chance of getting in YouTube trouble. All right, guys. So we have four donations here. Uh, Triple S, Breeze, Mel's Coin Corner, and Scott Jarvie. So that is a 25% chance for the Libertad. If you guys are looking to donate and enter the jackpot, every $10 donation receives one entry into the Soccer Plot, the jackpot. And all you have to do is send a PayPal donation via friends and family to Soccer Plot, ny at gmail.com <clears throat> all right mel says i can't tonight bid tonight brother on low budget normally i would be in on that bill completely understandable mel it is definitely a tough time after christmas so i definitely understand harry humstone is in the building what's going on harry thank you for joining me brother he said that old paper money is top notch. Well, I appreciate it. It's not in the best shape. These two not in the top shape uh, that as the previous ones that I had on the channel, but they will do just fine. That's for sure. They are intact and the four corners are intact. So not bad shape if I do say so myself. All right. Michael Lime says, I'm curious to see if I get slapped with big custom fees when the package gets here. Well, I hope not, Michael Lem. I really hope not. You keep me posted on that and let me know. Gigi's back. What's going on, Gigi? You're watching World's Funniest Dolls. You're watching World's Funniest Dolls? Huh? Dogs. Dogs? <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to get started with the coin roll hunt. Once again, the first item in the Soccer Plot, the jackpot, is the one-ounce Libertad. And we have Brinks rolls here, guys. So uh, let's get started. Triple S is the first donator of the night. So thank you so much, Triple S. Are you in the building? We're going to pull four Brinks rolls for Triple S, Silver Stacking Stoner. So let's take a sip of the ginger ale. What's your beverage of choice, everybody? Do you have a drink in your hand right now? So share with everyone what you guys are drinking. I'm drinking Gatorade. Gigi's drinking Gatorade. Gatorade H2O. And I will be doing random giveaways throughout the stream. You never know 
You never know. All right. So let's take a look here. Triple S is in the building. Uh, Mrs. Mercer is drinking coffee. Triple S has the Sprite going. Breeze has the water going. Mikey's in the building. Mikey's pocket change. What's going on? Mint State Numismatics, thank you for joining me. We have Brinks Rolls for the first time in about a month or so. Yeah. Michael Mercer's drinking a Dr. Pepper. Oh, I used to love Dr. Pepper. I tell you what, a Dr. Pepper sounds magical right now. Obviously, it's not the best thing for you, but every once in a while, it doesn't hurt. Chris Brumman says A and W cream. Oh, I like that too. Cream soda, diet Lipton green tea with citrus. I know somebody said a protein shake. Ramon is in the building. What's going on, Ramon? Thank you for joining me. A big red soda. Oh, I know what that is. Well, you're going to be up till six in the morning. Somebody <laughs> said a protein. A protein shake. I had one earlier. Earlier. Michael and Yeah, Yeah, can't go wrong with a protein shake. King Sniper says, I did email you. Please, please respond when you can. And I perfuse uh, a raspberry slush or a Dr. Pepper. Oh, raspberry slushy. A big gulp from 7 Eleven. You can't go wrong. I am wired up with this ginger ale. This ginger ale has a ton of sugar, guys. Take a guess at how much this ginger ale, how much sugar, how much of sugar this ginger ale has now i'm excited to see if we can silver in these brinks rolls because the dunbar rolls have been very difficult all right i received two donations mint state says 36 grams very close mint state michael m says 125 grams <laughs> coin world says three ounces we do math. C Dub is making me do math right now. Mine has a low amount, like Gatorade. Your Gatorade has zero sugar, doesn't it? No. Nope. Oh, that's low sugar. Yeah. Let's see. 12, 12 grams of sugar in Gigi's Gatorade. That's not bad, mm -hmm. considering it's a lot less than the uh, regular Gatorade. Gatorade. All right, let's see here. Silver Finder, let's check your PayPal. Uh, Maximus also sent the PayPal, so thank you guys so much. So the correct the uh, the correct answer is thirty three grams. So Maria, you got that right, Maria. Maria got it right. So we'll throw Maria a, a courtesy roll for getting that correct. So Maria, make sure you remind me to pull a roll for you. I am flustered and all over the place tonight, guys. So please bear with me. You know how Fridays are. But there's a full moon out tonight, guys. Did you see the full moon? It is shining bright like a diamond. Gigi's going to take a look at the... Oh, hold on. All right. You know, the Brinks rolls are where I found. Oh, look at this toner. So Silver Stack and Stoner gets a toner. Freestyle. All right. So uh, I do. I will check the PayPal after uh, I finish Silver Stack and Stone rolls. So Maximus and uh, Silver Finder, thank you guys so much for the donations. And I believe that will take us to the next jackpot item but let's finish here i'm going to pan the camera down just a little bit a smidget we have a toner here for silver stack and stoner and we will also give silver stack and stoner a soccer spin Gigi, would you like to do the honors for silver stack and stoner what's going on mountain mountains in the building Okay, sure. All right, Gigi's going to do the spin for Triple S. Good luck. Stop, 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 stop. 
stop. Ah, oh, I think my singing made it worse. <laughs> 40 percenter, 40 percenter for silver stacking stoner. So let's get silver stacking stoner, 40 percenter. We'll get you a 1965 and a toner. So we'll put that in your wallet, silver stacking stoner. And then we will get you your two entries into the Saka Plata jackpot. So bear with me as I pull up your wallet. And that's silver stack and stone, baby girl. Let's see. And then we will get you your entries and move on to. Oh, here we go. All right. Here's your wallet, silver stack and stoner. And we have the 40 percenter and the toner going your way. And thank you so much for the donation, brother. I really appreciate your continued support on the channel. And we are going to get you two entries into the sock of lot, the jackpot. And those numbers are 10 and 18. Perry Art is getting coffee. You're going to need it, Perry. It gets a little crazy here on Friday nights. So there it is, 10 and 18. That's 10 and 18 for a silver stack and stoner. And they are in there. So thank you once again, Triple S, and good luck. All right, guys, let's get the uh, other donations down. We have received. All right, LAP, thank you for joining me. Appreciate you being here. All right. So for future reference, Silver uh, Finder, it's just uh, you would have to uh, tap the uh, friends and family to avoid them charging me any fees. So just for uh, future notice, Roy says, got to balance, guys. Five-year-old starting to scavenge for food. All right, Roy. Well, if I don't see you later, you have a great weekend. And thanks for joining me. Always uh, good to have you here. All right. So we have, let's get these donations down. So the first donation I received was from Maximus. So thank you, brother, for that. $20 for four rolls. And I am, uh, let's see here. C Dub says, Saka, going to sleep now, my friend. Good night, everybody. All right, C Dub. Well, thank you for joining me. I know it's very late out there, so I appreciate you stopping in. And Silver Finder, thank you so much for the donation, brother. I appreciate it. And with that donation, we get to add a second item into the Saka Plata jackpot. All right. So we currently have six donators, so one in six chance to take home a prize tonight. And the second item, so here's the first item. For those just joining us, the first item is a one-ounce Libertad. Libertad, that's 1995. Look at that. How cool is that design? So that is the first item to sock up the jackpot. And the second item is, boom, we have Proof Silver. This is a 1986 Ellis Island Proof 90% commemorative half dollar. No worries, Silver Finder. I appreciate the donation either way, brother. So thank you so much for the support. So this is a very beautiful 1986. Mikey says, uh, let's see, check out last message. Thank you so much, Maximus. Maximus says, very cool. I love the way you, you're you doing the prizes. Thank you so much for that, Maximus. I try to be as fair as possible and provide as many good prizes as possible uh, that I'm able to, you know, obviously having these many prizes available is uh is very tough to keep the bar as high as I would like to keep it for you guys. So I definitely am given 100% to make sure these prizes uh, at least are satisfying to you guys. So thank you guys so much for continuing to support the channel. And with your support, we can continue 
to uh, provide great prizes for everyone here. So thank you so much for that. And guys, we are at two separate items in the soccer plot, the jackpot. And <laughs> Maximus says, but the silver wheel hates me apparently. Well, you never know, Maximus. We will find out shortly. And uh, I'm sorry if I missed anybody in the chat. And we will be doing an end of stream auction as well, guys. I have a bunch of foreign silver, guys. I mean, this bag... I'm straining my my uh, shoulder just holding it right now. <laughs> so there we have it. Two separate items into the soccer plot, the jackpot. And uh, Silver Finder, your numbers are picked at the end of your uh, donation rolls. All right. Oh, King Sniper, I know you want me to auction off that Black Eagle. But normally we do the auctions at the end of the stream. And uh, I did ask if anyone else was interested to see if we can get a nice competitive auction going. You know, the starting bid would be 50, but I would not want to put it up unless I was sure that we can have uh, multiple people interested in this item. And that's for the fear of losing out. So, uh, you know, I hope you can understand that. And uh, if there is anyone interested in this bill, you let me know. If we get enough people interested that we can have a decent auction battle for the Black Eagle, that, <laughs> if this happened again, then you let me know. Absolutely. I, I do uh, need written permission. I had Tristan bid on the uh, auction items previously, and he sent me written permission from his uh, from his parents. So uh, it's not until I receive, but I will have more of these. You will have a chance to own one yourself, King Sniper. So uh, even if this does sell tonight, I do have plenty more where that came from. All right. So yes, we have done rolls. Uh, I also owe Maria a roll for guessing how many grams are in the ginger ale and then we will move on to breeze mel's coin corner scott maximus and silver finder so this is for maria 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 are you in the chat maria let's see if we can find some silver tonight And, uh, you know, YouTube has really tightened up with their uh, regulations. So I don't want to go to YouTube jail, guys. I'm too young. All right, 71. All right, Maria, unfortunately, we did not find anything there for you. So I apologize for that. We are going to move on here to Breeze. Breeze, are you in the building? Let's get Breeze. Four rolls. Four rolls for Breeze. All right. Breeze, good luck. 26 people in the chat. Thank you guys for being here. There is a lot going on tonight. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys for hanging out with me on this lovely Friday night. All right. I'm not seeing anything here, but we'll pull a few that may seem questionable on camera. I do have a fluorescent light here by me, guys. So at times... It may appear silver, but trust me, these eagle eyes, it's very hard to get some silver past me. And, you know, it's great when I go to the coin star machines in my bank. They waive the fee, by, by the way, so I don't have to pay any fees. But they do filter out silver coins. So if I did miss any silver, it would be filtered out, and I have not had that issue so fortunately i have a uh, a buffer of protection 
just in case I do miss anything, but I haven't had that issue yet. So that's always good and reassuring as well. Mikey says, soccer plot that I bowled six games and did kind of terrible. I think I pulled my muscle and my bicep as well. Won't be doing it for a while. Yeah, you know, uh, when I go bowling after I haven't for a while and I bowl a couple of games, I definitely feel some pain in my wrist. So uh, I'm sure once you let that heal, you'll start to build up more strength in those muscles as you continue to bowl. And you got a turkey recently, so seems like you're a pretty good bowler. Bowling is fun, though. How many of you guys have bowled over 100? Have, has anyone – who has the bowling skills? I haven't bowled in quite a bit. All right, that's not how – we're looking for magic coins. And if it was a magic coin, you would hear a big hollow thud. Gold miner did over 200. Oh, man. Wednesday afternoon bowling is a dollar a game. Very nice, Maximus. You don't get that around my neck of the woods, that's for sure. All right. This could be the first find of the day. And it is a 2006 NIFC. 256 gold gold miner. That's impressive. I think my highest score was just under 200. Michael M says I'm horribly inconsistent. I go from strike to gutter to gutter. It's definitely fun. But I don't want to hear anybody playing with the bumpers on, guys. Come on. Take the bumpers down and take your gutter bowl like a champ. Mel's Coin Corner says, LO, I have 23, 300 games and five 800 series before I quit. I averaged two. Oh, so you were a professional, huh? Very cool, Mel. So what's the, what's the secret for consistency for someone that's looking? If you had to give them any tips on how to increase their odds. We have a 2015 here. Is it starting for, from a particular side or is it... Uh, Is it putting a certain spin on the ball? 1982 and 71. 1977. Practice, practice, and more practice. Yeah, practice does it all. Practice is the solution for a lot of things. If you're not good at something and you practice it over and over again, This is a pretty nice toner here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So we'll pull that out as well for Breeze. And I'm always checking if something sounds a little odd. I'm always making sure that it's not a magic coin, but most likely it's just really worn down. Exhibit A. All right, so we didn't find any silver, but we got you two NIFCs and a 1978 toner, Breeze, and we will get you a soccer spin. All right, here we go. Good luck. All right, passes the walker. Stop, 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 stop. Not working, is it? Yeah, we got you two 40 percenters. So two 40 percenters for Breeze surely beats one every time. So we will get you two 40 percenters. That is a 1969 and a 1968. So two 40 percenters, two NIFCs, and a toner for Breeze. But wait, there's more. We will also get you two entries into the Saka Plata jackpot. And those entries are number 58 and number 
24. Number 58 and number 24. Let's write that down. That's 58 and 24. And they are in there. So good luck, Breeze. And thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate you being a part of the channel. And we have Mel's Coin Corner, followed by Scott Jarvey, Max Silver Finder. We have two separate prizes in the Soccer Plot the Jackpot. So let's get started with Mel. Uh, Mercer, you have a great night. And uh, I'm glad that you are feeling at least a little bit better. I hope you continue the trend in the right direction, Mercer. And I will respond to your email tomorrow. And if I don't see you later, you have a great night and enjoy your weekend. All right, Mel's Coin Corner. Let's get four rolls for Mel's Coin Corner. You know what? I think I'm always going to have something here on display, guys, because looking at these things, these are beautiful pieces of history here. So I may just have something like this on every stream. I will be auctioning these off later tonight along with some foreign silver. All right. So Mel's Coin Corner, good luck. Maximus says, yeah, we found other things to do when I visit. That's just crazy. I'm more than New York. New York, New York. Maximus, are you going to the uh, New York International Numismatic Convention? So we have an 1899 on the right. That's a Black Eagle silver certificate. And on the left, we have a uh, 1917 George Washington dollars. So it is, oh, that is burnt down to a crisp. These are grinder coins. It is next week, uh, Maximus. From the 17th to the 19th. And I believe they'll be having a... Uh, They'll be having some uh, booths for uh, grading, same-day grading as well. So if you have anything that you're looking to get graded, that will be the time to bring it in. I'm not sure if they charge an additional fee, but uh, they will have NGC and uh, PCGS available there. Uh, it is being held on 42nd Street, East 42nd Street. That's the Grand Hyatt Hotel, New York. No, it, it hasn't started in New York just yet, King Sniper, unless it's a different uh, convention. I know there is, I believe, the fun show. I did see someone post it in the chat, so if anyone has knowledge of that, just uh, put it in the chat. Oh, look at this. We have a toner here. The reverse is much nicer, although it does have some green paint. We'll send that to you, though, uh, Mel. Hopefully we can find some silver, guys. I was very happy when I saw that these rolls were Brinks rolls. As you guys know, we have been getting nothing but Dunbar rolls. Maximus. Oh, so you're heading out to Florida. Very nice. Is it? Am I confusing you uh, with someone else? I don't think it's Florida, is it? Either way, you have a great time with your son. I hope you'll be going to uh, to the banks out there as well. I know you had luck previously with them. Come on, Silver, 1971. All right, one more roll for Mel's Coin Corner. So what's everybody doing for the weekend? Any plans? It's actually pretty nice out here. It's, I believe, in the 40s. So we've been getting very lucky with some decent weather. 
Oh, in the mornings, it has been about 30 degrees, but then it warms up as the day goes on. Maximus says, just saying, my LCS said he's off to Orlando this whole past week. Huge coin show in Orlando. So maybe that's the fun show that I was uh, that I had seen someone post in the chat. I also saw on Instagram people were over there. So that just gets me more excited to go. It will be my first uh, coin show. Uh, Michael Arm says, fun show. Yes, I want to go so bad. Well, do they have any coin shows out in Canada, Michael M? All right, so we're going to give you this uh, toner, Mel, and let's get you a soccer spin. And good luck. Oh, the snow is on the way. Oh, come on, Walker. Come on, Walker. You know you want to. Boom! Walker is in the building. Walker for Mel's Coin Corner. And the Walker saves the day. 1943 Walker. That is from Philly. Not too bad if I do say so myself. So the Walker and the Toner for Mel's Coin Corner. But wait. There's more. You will also receive two entries into the Soccer Flopper jackpot. So here's your uh, wallet, Mel. And as I said, I entered the uh, the coin tube in your wallet. Hey, you have another walker in there. And I believe that's a toner or an NIFC. Let's see. That is a toner. So two walkers and two toners. So there you have it. And let's get you your entries. All right. I'm a little, you know, I'm excited about Coin Show, but at the same time, I'm a little nervous that I may go a little bit overboard. <laughs> 22 and 23. Sequential numbers for Mel. 22 and 23. And let's. Put them in the jackpot box. And they're there. All right, Mel. Good luck. And thank you so much for the donation, brother. And we are moving on to Scott Jarvie. Scott Jarvie, are you in the building? Maximus says, seems like my wheel on my streams is giving a huge amount of walkers and Benjis away. Huh, oh, Maximus. <laughs> I guess it's a streaky kind of thing because I had a couple of streams where uh, I would get nothing but 90 percenters and then a couple of streams where it will just be 40 percenters and quarters. So, uh, you know, it is an odd thing being that there are only two 90 percenters on the wheel. You're more likely, obviously, to get something different, but that does not hold back from the wheel deciding that it wants walkers and benjis to come out hey the more silver you guys get on the wheel the better it is for all of us so uh let's see here i'm just refreshing and making sure i'm all caught up we have scott maximus and silver finder we have two items in the soccer flata jackpot all right scott jarvie is in the building so let's pull two rolls for scott jarvie so, Scott, you will get a – we have Mercs today. So, Merc Dime for Scott Jarvie. This is a 1941 from Philly. So, you get the Merc Dime, and let's open these rolls. What's going on, Gigi girl? I don't hear you guys laughing over there. You don't? I was laughing. You were laughing? Yeah. World's most funniest dogs? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's funny. It is, I bet. <laughs> All right, 
Let's see here. 1971. So where uh let's see, we are past a week into January now. What hey, what's going on, Mike Wolf? Thank you for joining me, brother. And if you were in here earlier, sorry I missed you. So what are the New Year's resolutions, guys? And, you know, there are many resolutions that are made before January. And then by February, they are out the window. So step one is to make a realistic goal, guys. You know, you have to give yourself the opportunity to achieve smaller goals before you achieve the bigger goals. So you start small. And you achieve them little by little, and you work towards that bigger overall goal. And that goes for myself as well, Gigi, and everyone around us. <laughs> Maximus says, stack harder. King Sniper says, to start making videos. Michael Coretta, to find more silver. Oh, I got fooled here. Did you guys get fooled? That's paint. Womp, womp, womp. Yeah. Chasing the gold says, fix my house is my goal. Very nice goal. Are you looking to completely renovate it? I'm, I'm sure it's a big project. My big goal is to own a home. I currently rent in Queens, New York. And guys, the rent is outrageous in New York City. If you haven't heard, <laughs> it is outrageous. So I do have a long-term goal of owning a home. What's your goal, Gigi? I have small goals to accomplish my But no one can hear you over there, Gigi. I have small goals to accomplish my big goal. You have small goals to accomplish your big goal? Uh -huh. And what's your small goal? My small goal, I like um, to play for Riley, to play all of me, to play different songs on the keyboard. And then my overall goal is to be really, really good at playing the keyboard. Nice. Well, you have been progressing. Uh, I had bought Gigi a uh, keyboard <laughs> for Christmas, uh, last Christmas, not this Christmas. Yeah, last Christmas. And she has progressed very nicely. She was playing a portion of the Beethoven song, which is a very difficult song to play on the on the piano. So, well, she, Gigi's shaking her head like, no, it's not that hard. <laughs> not really. So you get a, a Merc dime, Scott, and we will get you... One entry into the soccer plaza jackpot. But first, let's pull your wallet. Uh, Scott Darby. Here he is. All right, Scott. There you have it. And you, okay, so I did receive payment for this. So we can pop the tag off that one. All right. So there you have it, and a Merc dime. So let's uh, get you your one entry into the soccer plot, the jackpot. And that number is 16 for Scott Jarvie. So 16 for Scott Jarvie. Scott Jarvie has won the soccer plot, the jackpot, with only a $10 donation previously. So... All you have to do is be in it to win it, guys. It's definitely possible. It has happened multiple times on the channel where someone who's only donated $10, and I say only respectfully, I mean in terms of the odds of winning a prize. Uh, and there's, you know, you can still come out on top. So it's like uh, the saying, a dollar in a dream. All right, 16 going in. The jackpot box. And thank you, Scott, for your continued support. I really appreciate you guys who continuously support my channel. It's the reason why I'm even able to sustain the prizes that I like to uh, make available to you guys. So I really humbly appreciate it, guys. And I will say it until your ears bleed because I know it gets repetitive after a while, but I'm very humbled by your support. Maximus says, fortunately, my wife and I own our home, no mortgage, and literally next to no ta taxes. 
because 95 year old dad lives with us we get a huge tax break uh, tax break because he's a world war ii com uh, combat vet wow well make sure to thank him for his service on our behalf maximus and uh i tell you what owning your own home with no mortgage has to be uh, such a peace of mind for you guys so i'm very happy to hear that and we just received a donation from mr coretta michael coretta thank you for that i really appreciate the support i believe michael coretta won a jackpot prize on tuesday guys viera coins is in the building what's going on viera i have not seen you in years my friend <laughs> i was over there earlier viera says nice bills in the back yeah and you have no idea where i received them from viera not a clue viera has no idea where these bills came from <laughs> Oh, I had a fun time over at uh, Vieira's Coin Shop earlier today, guys. It's always like uh, going to a candy shop. All right. So, Michael Carrada, thank you so much for the donation, brother. So, we have Maximus, we have Silver Finder, and we have Michael Carrada on deck. And we have two prizes in the Soccer Plot, the jackpot. For those just joining us, we have a one ounce Liberty. And we have a 1986 proof. So there you have it. Uh, King, yes, he has a coin shop. Viera is a he. And we received another donation here. Let's take a look. Perry, thank you so much. We have a first-time donator here. Perry's in the building. Thank you, Perry. Not only do I enjoy you being on the channel, and you guys are not required to donate one bit, but when you guys donate, it allows me to provide more content and more prizes for you guys. It goes right back into this, guys. So thank you so much, Perry. I really appreciate the support. Thank you for your first-time donation. And you will also be entered into the Saka Plata jackpot. So first time donator, Michael Coretta says, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Sorry if I hurt your ears, guys. That might have been right in the eardrums. And who is wearing headphones right now? If you are, I am sorry in advance. All right. So uh, let's see. Maximus Silverfinder, Michael Coretta, and Perry Art. Let's take a look and see how far we are, uh, we are from getting a third item into the soccer block, the jackpot. We have, all right, we are 50 away from adding a third item. Let's see if we can get there. Aaron's in the building. What's going on, Aaron? Thank you for joining me, and thank you so much for the shout-out video. I really appreciate that, brother. When you guys shout me out, it helps my channel get exposure. I've been doing this for about five or six months now, and it has been a quick, uh, very fast growing six months. And I'm very grateful because it's because of you guys. So thank you so much. And hopefully we can trend upward as 2020 continues. Aaron says, thank you so much. And just had dinner. Glad to hit your second half. And Mel says, I learned not to wear headphones on your channel. <laughs> And big mills. <laughs> Way to go, Mel. See? That's cause and effect for you guys. All right. So, uh, Maximus, you are up, brother. Let's get you four rolls into the soccer plot, the jackpot. And by the way, those bills behind me will be auctioned off at the end of the stream. All right, so we those are three rolls and four rolls. There we have it. Oh, look at my first five ouncer, guys. How is that? Not only is this a Lieber Dad five ouncer, this I believe is a 25 year anniversary Lieber Dad. So how cool is that? I'm going to put that right there. Okay. And Maximus was my first donator of all time. And for that, I gave him a Benji, and uh, 
Am I giving? No, I am not giving away a five ouncer, Maximus. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I definitely hope that at some point I can do a giveaway that big. I have goals of giving gold away on this channel at some point. But let's get to a thousand subscribers first. Can we do that? All right. Maximus, you are up. Good luck. And let's see, we have not found silver yet. We just found some uh, some NIFCs and ooh, so pretty. We're gonna pull this out for you, Maximus. Has some nice luster to it. Remember, Sokka is going to give away some gold. <laughs> Michael M is writing it down in his note with the date and time. <laughs> That's definitely a long-term plan, a long-term goal, maybe in the next 20 to 30 years. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I definitely want to do that after 1,000 subscribers at some point. And, uh, you know, when I did my first 100 subscriber giveaway, I believe it was a BU Peace Dollar, won by CCO. All right, let's see here. It's in 1994. Grinder coin. Gregory Lee, what's going on, Gregory? Thank you for joining me, brother. Happy Freaky Friday. And we have not found silver yet, but we're on the hunt, guys. We are actively hunting for silver. We have the Brinks rolls. Mel says, yeah, and $4 each to ship, $22 for Eagle, $25 for Morgan, and $7 for the half. Yeah, shipping to Canada, shipping internationally in general could be uh, quite pricey. But guys, you guys support my channel. The least I could do is support you guys in, in making sure I can get you some, uh, some prizes even if it is internationally. All right, so let's see. Come on, Silver. So I actually have two boxes that came out uh, with Brinks rolls. And what I do when I receive them from the bank, and look, dead center, it may look silver, but I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's not. It's a false alarm. What can I do, guys? Don't shoot the messenger. I want to find silver as much as you guys do. That's a grinder coin. I'll pull that for new Marshall. All right. Final roll for Maximus. My sub count has gone down to a snail's pace. Well, guys, if you haven't subscribed to Maximus Silver Stacker, take a second to do so. Matter of fact, sub fest. Everyone take a second to subscribe to everyone's channel. Let's help each other grow and glow. I got, oh, boom. We have silver. Silver is in the roll. Silver is in the box. And Maximus, we always joke about how you can't tell from the rim. Well, that one jumped out at me, my friend. It just couldn't hide from the pack. It could not hide. The eagle eye is here in full effect. 1969, baby. So there we have it, guys. Celebrate good times. Come on. We have a 40 percenter. We have a 40 percenter. Gigi's fired up. She's doing a ballet dance in the background. What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Maximus. So you get the 1969, and you get a very, very shiny, purdy 1988. And let's get you a soccer spin, shall we? My hands are wet. All right, Gigi's hands are wet. Well, I, I, I spun a walker last time, so let's see if... Saka Plata has the magic touch. No. Wow, Gigi, no faith at all? No. <laughs> Good luck, Maximus. Good luck. 
Here comes the... Oh, it's going to pass to Benji. Or is it? Stay! 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 Oh, my God! <laughs> what in the world? That hurts. Oh, my God! That was so mean of the way. Yeah, that's gruesome. I am sorry. I am so sorry, Maximus. But, hey, a silver quarter beats a 40 percenter any day of the week. And we're going to get you a 19... 48. I guess you're right, Maximus. Whoa, look at that. Hold on. What's going on over there? Oh, that's just that's just some environmental damage going on. All right, so you get the 40, uh, the 1948 silver, and you get the 40 percenter, and you get the 1988. Vieira says, Saka, from now on, for each donator, give a Roosevelt on us. How about that? So thank you. Shout out to Vieira for doing that. Very kind of Vieira. He's always looking for ways to help my channel, and I really, really appreciate that. King Sniper says, what is better, a silver quarter or a 40% half? Well, in terms of melt value, a silver quarter is worth more than a 40 percenter. But some do choose very little, but there are people out there that prefer 40% half dollars. And, and I believe that's because of the fact that it's a half dollar coin, which is not uh, used as often or seen as often as a quarter. But yeah, silver quarter does have the edge. All right, Maximus, let's get you your wallet. Gigi, what you drinking? You finished your Gatorade? Uh -huh. Gigi finished her Gatorade. Oh, here we go. All right, Maximus. Maximus. And we have the Roaring Lion coin in there. And that's the silver you have in there. Silver, uh, NIFCs, toners. You have a walker in there. I don't see any more walkers in there. Oh, yeah, there's two in there, I believe. Two walkers in there. So you have the uh, one ouncer, and now you get a silver quarter, a 40 percenter, and a very nice 1988. All right, so let's also get you your two entries into the soccer plot, the jackpot, baby. We have two separate prizes, and we are $50 away from a third prize. And is A.B. Silver in the building? Did I miss A.B. Silver in the building? Did he... Dare to pop on my stream without saying hello. AB Silver donation from AB Silver. If he's lurking in the background, counting some dimes, put the dimes down, AB Silver, and say hello. There he is. There he is. I thought you were going to tell Alexa to remind you when I went live, brother. <laughs> AB Silver, thank you so much for the dono, brother. I really appreciate it. So you are getting eight rolls, and you'll be getting a rosy dime. AB was sorting dimes, see? And I was just kidding. I was only kidding. All right. Sorry for the headphone wearers, by the way. All right, Maximus, let's get you two entries into the soccer plot, the jackpot. We are $10 away from adding a third item into the soccer plot, the jackpot. Woo, I am getting fired up. I am fired up. Literally and figuratively. But Breeze is in the building, so at least I'm getting somewhat of a draft here. 13 and 56. 13 and 56 for Maximus. That's 13 and 56. So let's open the jackpot door and... It's in there. So good luck, Maximus, and thank you so much for the donation. And we received a donation from Chris Brummett. Thank you so much, Chris Brummett. I always appreciate you, brother. Chris sent me just the nicest Christmas package of all time, guys. He sent gifts for, for me, my wife, my son, my daughter. I was just blown away, and I was very touched. 
So, Chris, I will forever be grateful for that. And we have reached a third jackpot item. We are about to step it up a notch, guys. We are stepping it up, guys. Stepping it up, stepping it up, stepping it up now. Ethan and Gigi are in the room with Mrs. Plata. They are watching World's Funniest Dogs. And I'm a little bit jealous because those shows are pretty funny. All right, so let's see here. We have Silver Finder, uh, Michael Coretta, Perry Art, A.B. Silver, and Chris Brummett. All right, so we are going to add another item to the Soccer Plot, the jackpot, guys. Another item. That's right. So let's recap the uh, current items in the jackpot. We have a one-ounce Libertad. Oh, no worries, Chris. I didn't expect you to do all that, but that's very thoughtful of you. Hey, look, it's my ear, guys. Ear, re ear reveal, ear reveal. All right, 1986, Liberty, Ellis Island, commemorative half dollar. So those are two items, two items in the soccer block of jackpot, and we are stepping it up a notch. All right, here is the other item. Get ready for the face reveal. Boom! This is a 1968. Let's put it right in my grill. There we go. 1968 proof set. 1968 proof set. Look at the bald. Do you see the bald head, guys? All right. So there you have it. That's a 1968 proof set as the third item in the Soccer Plata jackpot. And that is a very, very shiny 1968 i would say camel without question so there you have it 1968 proof set and the uh one ounce libertad and the 1986 90 percent commemorative half dollar in the box i love this box by the way all right guys so there we have it three separate items separate items into the soccer block the jackpot and the rosy dimes for every donation going forward so that is ab silver chris brum let's see uh yes ab silver and chris brummett and we have silver finder silver finder are you in the building ab silver says i definitely not going to be awake for my roles. I'm hitting the sack soon, Sakaplata, but I hope the rest of the hunt goes well. Well, thank you, AB Silver. Thank you so much for the donation, brother. And if you end up waking up, you can always join us for the end of stream auction. Those bills behind us will be a part of the end of stream auction. And uh, we will also have a great deal of foreign silver available as well. All right. So Silver Finder, thank you for the donation. Let's pull four rolls for Silver Finder. Let's bring these up first. Oh, careful, Libra Dad. Careful. Oh my goodness. No, not the bills. Not the bills. All right. You know what? I'm just going to put this here to prevent it from falling again. All right. So there's one. There's two. There's three, and there's four. All right, so four, <laughs> Michael M says, Bill Flopper. So we have silver in the box, so hopefully we can find more. Silver Finder, good luck. Steve Woods is in the building. What's going on, Steve Woods? Yes, I am doing an end of stream auction. Steve Woods, those two bills behind me or in front of me, right? They are in front of me technically, but they are going up for auction at the end of stream along with some foreign silver. So hopefully you can join us and feel free to hang out until then. We are opening some rolls looking for silver. We have found a 40 percenter so far and we are looking for more. So silver finder, good luck. 
Oh, that is a false alarm there. 1980. Darn it. 1971. And a 1971 here as well. Yeah, well, it's 10-17 on the East Coast. We do have, let's see here, four more uh, donations. So maybe by 11, we'll get the uh, the auction portion of the stream started. All right. And actually, Silver Finder, I, uh, I have to add a uh, rosy dime. So what I'm going to do is do a rosy dime here. I do not have it with me on the table. So I will grab it, but I'm going to make a note here, free rosy dime. And when I get up, there we go. I'll grab the uh, rosy dime tubes. All right. AB says, Michael M., I got another $50 face value today i'm addicted i think we need dimes and anonymous <laughs> i hear that rosy dimes are really fun to stack so this has some decent toning so i'm gonna pull this out can't really pick that up maybe on the reverse you can pick it up a little better 1985 bicentennial 1988 that's right, Michael M. First thing is admitting that you have a problem. And there's a lot of other things that you can be addicted to that are much worse. So stack and silver, to me, is not that big of a deal as far as a, a problem is concerned. I don't see it as a problem unless you're living out of a shoebox or, or living out on the street and you're still stacking off. Uh, Silver somehow. John Smith is in the building. What's going on, John Smith? Good to see you, brother. How is your Friday night going so far? Damn it, I love Fridays, guys. I don't know what it is about Friday. Maybe it's the fact that there's a full moon out, but the energy that I'm feeling here tonight is just out of this world. And I'm going to grab the rosy dime tube after this roll. So bear with me, Silver Finder. I'd rather enter it now than have to be reminded later. So this is a 2005 with the Ring of Death, but it's an NIFC. And this is a 1991. So final roll here. 1999. All right. So let's grab the uh, rosy dime. All right. We have rosy dimes in the building. We have rosy dimes in. Oh. Oh, Rosie. Oh, Rosie dimes. 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 All right. I'm getting carried away. Getting a little bit carried away, guys. Just had to do that for AB Silver. <laughs> and Michael Lem. All right. So there's a Rosie dime for Silver Finder. So you get the Rosie dime, you get the NIFC, and you get the 1985. And you will also get a soccer spin. So let's see here. All right. Silver Finder, good luck. The Benji comes around. Stop at the silver quarter. Stop at the silver quarter. Stop. Yes, we have two silver quarters. 
for Silver Finder. Two Silver Quarters for Silver Finder. So Silver Finder, you will get two Silver Quarters. Mike, uh, Mike Wolf says, hey, Saka, if you have too many dimes, you can always put some in my wallet. <laughs> Mike, you like dimes now? I thought you were more of a quarter guy. So two Washington silver quarters, 1956 and 1964 for silver finder. You also get the rosy dime, the dime C, the toner, and you get two entries into the Saka Plata jackpot. Now, Silver Finder, I'm not sure if you have a, a wallet account, but you always have the option to create one. It is free, and if you want to accumulate items, that's the best way to do so. If not, we can just send this out to you as is. Uh, Michael M. says, Saka, I did manage to fill a dime tube. Yes, you did, Michael M., more than a dime tube. I believe it was more than a dime tube. So you should expect more than 50 dimes in your package. So Silver Finder, if you want to open wallet, just put open wallet. If you want to send it out, just put send it out. All right, Silver Finder wants to open a wallet. Thank you, Silver Finder. It does help me with shipping as well, guys. So I definitely appreciate when you guys choose to open a wallet account. But you guys aren't required to do so. That's just completely at your uh discretion and let's mark it down here silver finder and we will put open wallet and thanks again for that silver finder your wallet will be open and ready to go on my next stream which will be tuesday night at 8 30 p.m eastern time so that's the haul for your 20 dollar donation and we will get you two entries into the Saka Plata jackpot. And we have three prizes in the Saka Plata jackpot right now, guys. And for every donation, uh, for our, every donator, Vieira Coins will add a rosy dime as well. So thank you to Vieira Coins for doing that. And let's see here. We're going to grab two entries for Silver Finder. All right, number six and number 47. And as I say on just about every stream, when number six comes out, it will have the underline on it. So if it was a nine, it would not have the underline. So this is a six. So six and 47. That's six and 47. So there you have it. Six and 47. Let's get that down here. Number six and number 47 for Silver Finder. And they are in there. So there you have it, Silver Finder. Good luck. And thank you so much for the donation. I really, really appreciate it, guys. So let's take a look here. Three separate items into the Saka Plata jackpot. And we have Mr. Coretta. AB says, word is just starting to get out there. I lost all my dimes. <laughs> AB Silver, every time someone sees you in a stream, they're going to ask you about your boating accident. <laughs> oh, Silver, uh, AB Silver, by the way, I know you have your, uh, your silver shots that you do and you eat silver and all that. So check this out. I thought this was cool. I actually thought of you when I acquired this. Look at this. I'm going to take a scoop of some dime soup right now. Look at that. So that is uh, sterling silver. And we have some dimes here. So let me just take a bite real quick because I am starving. Oh, that was good. That was so good. That was very, very good. So very cool. Sterling silver spoon there. And I also have some sterling silver jewelry as well. Kennedy says, Saka Plata, here in a few weeks, I'm going to donate when I get paid. I can't wait to get more. 
Oh, no worries, Kennedy. I'm just glad to see you in the chat, Kennedy. It's been a, <laughs> Perry said, chew your coins, dang it. I know, I shouldn't be talking with my mouth full of silver. But Kennedy, definitely happy to have you back vacation was enjoyable. I know you were going through some things, so I really hope that things have turned around, especially considering we are in 2020 now. So, all right, we have Mr. Coretta. Thank you for waiting patiently while I ate a spoon of silver soup. And now we are pulling four rolls for Mr. Coretta. All right. And Gigi's back. Again. Gigi's back. Back again. Tell a friend. All right. So, Mr. Coretta, good luck. That's right, Kennedy. You keep that optimism going throughout the whole year. All right. Looks like it could be an NIFC in the first row. And it is a 2015 NIFC. Look at the luster on that. Very pretty. Mrs. Flapa's in the building. She just came and went like the wind. Oh, here she comes. Mrs. Flapa, say hello to everyone in the coin community. Hi, everyone. I always put her on the spot. <laughs> 1983. 74, but let's double check this here. All right, so I'm not seeing any doubling at the 1990. All right, so the 2015 NIFC to uh, get us started and three more rolls to go. See, at the end here, we have some paint. I really don't like painted coins. Hashtag protest painted coins. Look at that. That's horrible. 83 and 72 here. A nice toner here, 1977. We'll pull that out. 1993. So what do you want to do this weekend, Gigi girl? I want to... Let's actually check the note. I want to go to Michigan. You want to go to Michigan? I believe there's somebody, some people out here uh, from Michigan. Who's from Michigan in the chat? Uh, Silver Stacker, I believe, is from Mich uh, Michigan. Who else is from Michigan? I am drawing a blank. I know there's a couple of people from Michigan that uh, pop in the stream. All right. Check it out. Boom! We have silver! 1968. Silver is in the roll. Silver is in the box. And heading to Mr. Coretta. That is what I like. Oh, that's a 1986 here. And an NIFC 2011. Oh, it looks like the box is starting to pick up just a tad bit. So that's a 2011. NIFC. Don't jinx it. Gigi, Gigi looked at me and said, don't jinx it. She gave me the look of all looks. looks. Is that a death stare or what, Gigi? Yeah. Lady B is in the building. What's going on, Lady B? Thank you for joining me. We have found silver in the box. So the Brinks rolls, I'm liking them better already. All right, one more. That, I believe, is the second of the box. Yes. And we're pulling some NIFCs. Well, we're going to need more than two silvers, though, that's for sure. 
but it's promising. Oh, I'll be quiet, right, Gigi? I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> but we have been pulling some double quarters, double 40 percenters, and we pull the walker as well from the uh, soccer spin. So that always saves the day, not to mention the three jackpot items in the Saka Plata jackpot. All right. So we're going to get a uh, silver dime, silver rosy for Mr. Coretta, courtesy of Vieira Coins. Oh, my goodness. I have silver dimes and silver everything over here. All right. Mr. Coretta, you get a first-year rosy. That's a 1946 from Denver. So you get the 40% uh, of the rosy, but wait, you get a soccer spin. Let's get a soccer spin. Mm -hmm. All right, Gigi, you want to do the honors? Yeah. All right, Gigi's going to do the honors. No pressure, Gigi. No pressure at all. Here we go. Mr. Coretta, good luck. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, two silver quarters. Two silver quarters for Mr. Coretta. So you get a 1964, two 1964s, and a 1964. Both from Philly. So you get the 64s, you get the rosy dime, you get the 40 percenter, and you get two NIFCs and a toner. So there you have it, Mr. Coretta. And let's pull your wallet here. And we will get you two into the Saka Plata jackpot. So here you have it, Mr. Coretta. And that's your haul. And you also have a panda in there. And some other silver. Look at that. Not bad. All right. Let's get you your two entries. And then we have Perry R, AB Silver, and Chris Brumman on deck. All right, Mr. Coretta, you are number 46 and number 38. 46 and 38. That's 46. And 38 for Mr. Coretta. And let's open the silver nitrate door. And it's in there. So good luck, Mr. Coretta. And thank you so much for the contribution to my channel. It has been a blast having you on the stream. And we will keep going forward and see if we can find some more silver here. Perry Art. So Perry Art is a first-time donator. So thank you so much, Perry. So Perry, let's get you a uh, rosy dime courtesy of Yara Coins to start you off here. And we are also going to throw in another rosy for your first-time donation. And let's get you four rolls here. One, two, three, and four. Let's move these up. We're getting towards the tail end of the box here. So, uh, Perry Art, good luck. Let's see if we can find some more silver, guys. I was a little, uh, I was optimistic when I noticed there were Brinks rolls. But then when I didn't see Enders when I opened it before the stream, I didn't see any Enders. I got a little down in the dumps, but at least we did not get skunked. So I'm hoping we can find some more silver here. And guys, I open these boxes right before the stream. I lay them out here. That way I'm not doing that while I'm live. Because it could be quite time consuming. And usually I'll have, if there are any enders, I'll have them 
this is where I start and I go from left to right, left to right, left to right. So usually the early bird gets the worm if there are enders, but in this case, there weren't any enders. But in the previous two streams, we had an ender in each stream. So can't expect an ender on every single stream during every single box. Oh, Mike Wolf says dinner time, pot roast and veggies. Enjoy, Mike Wolf, and I'll be expecting some leftovers. All right, let's take a look here. Dead center. Nope, 1980. Lady B, I will be auctioning, and uh, that will be at the end of the stream. We currently have Perry R., A.B. Silver, and Chris Brumman on deck. And if there are not any other donators, then we will get into the Soccer Plot, the Jackpot, and the end of stream auction. Two items that I'm looking to uh, have on the end of stream auction are right there in front of me. The Black Eagle and the uh, 1917 George Washington dollar. Protest marked coins. All right, two more rolls for Perry Art. Come on, silver. Let's go, silver. All right, let's take a look here. This may appear silver, but it's not. 1971 bicentennial, but this could be an NIC and it's not. It's a 1998. Uh, AB Silver, the year is 1899. So it's an 1899 Black Eagle. The starting bid will be $50. $1979. Maria says, Soccer Plot, that today is my nephew's birthday and he is a new subscriber to you. The V nickel frame with the V nickels in them was for him for his B day and he loved it so much. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Happy birthday to your nephew. The uh, I have a nephew of my own that is into coins. So uh, I definitely can relate to you on that, Maria. And I'm glad that he likes the V nickel artwork. All right, final roll for Perry Art. And it's not looking like we're going to find anything, but hopefully we can pull something good for the soccer spin. 1990, 1977, another 77, 71. Come on. Trust me, there's a lot of pressure, especially for a first-time donor. For everyone, I want to find something. But for a first-time donator, I definitely have more of incentive because I want to make sure that they're happy with their first-ever donation on my channel. But we have a soccer spin, so we can see what we can pull on the soccer spin. Perry, do not cry, Perry. Dry your eye because Gigi's going to... Uh, do a soccer spin and yeah. no pressure, Gigi. No pressure at all. Go ahead. I will karate chop it. The iPad. <laughs> uh, don't karate chop it. We need it. Okay. All right, Perry Art. Good luck. Go, 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 go. Can we get at least two? All right, so you get two 40 percenters. Woo, that was close. Look at that. So you got two 40 percenters. So it beats a blank every time. So we'll get you the two 40 percenters. This is a uh, 1969 and a 1967. So there you have it. You get two 40 percenters and two rosy dimes. But wait, there's more. You'll also get two entries into the soccer plot, the jackpot. So you have a chance with those two entries to win two prizes because you
can win more than one prize if you have enough entries, guys. So it is a numbers game. And uh, let's see here. Scott Jarvis says, Soccer Plata, how much do the tubes for half dollars cost and for quarters? So I believe they're 125. I'll have to check my cost, but I believe they're anywhere from a dollar to a dollar twenty-five. And if you are interested, I do have them available. So let's see here. And we just received a donation from John Smith. So thank you, John Smith. I appreciate that, brother. Let's get you down here. John Smith wants in on the Soccer Plot, the jackpot, which has three uh, separate prizes. All right, Perry, let's get you your two entries into the Soccer Plot, the jackpot. And your entries are number 55 and number 30. Number 55 and number 30. 55 and 30. There you have it. Let's write that down here. 55 and 30. So good luck, Perry Art. Thank you so much for your donation, your first time donation. And uh, also, these are yours. So you let me know if you would like it sent out or if you would like to open a wallet account on my channel. It's completely free, but it is up to you. You can open a wallet or you can send out. So just put send out or open wallet and we will get that going for you. And thank you again for your first time donation on my channel. Really, really appreciate it. All right, so let's see where we are here. All right, we are $80 from a fourth jackpot item. I'm not sure if we're gonna get there, but we still have three great prizes. All right, Perry Art says send out. So, Perry, please send your full name and mailing address to my email. If you don't have it, well, I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it. Boom! Sakaplapa NY at gmail.com. There it is. And you didn't even see it coming, did you, Perry? Did I startle anyone? If you fell asleep, now you're wide awake. Can't fall asleep up in here. Not up in here. All right. So Perry Art, we will send that out to you. And it will also be a uh, sticker involved in that package as well. Send out. Perry says, it's engraved on my eyeballs. You will be saying it in your sleep. Everyone goes through the cycle plot of withdrawals. Every time someone sees me uh, in the stream, they say cycleplata nygmail.com. I know from that very moment that they dream about my email. <laughs> or not, I could be wrong. But who knows? I guess it makes me feel good knowing that the email is catchy. That way, if you need to get in touch with me, you know what you have to do. All right, that ginger ale is doing the thing tonight. All right, AB Silver, you are up. And AB says, hashtag I dream of Saka Plata's email <laughs> and dimes. Maria says, Lady B, I forgot. Oh, you're talking to Lady B. Sorry, sorry, Maria. All right, so AB Silver, you are up eight rolls for AB Silver. All right, we just received another donation here. Hold on one second. Mr. Zombie. Mr. Zombie wants in on this jackpot. So, Mr. Zombie, I haven't seen you in the chat in a while. Are you here? Mr. Zombie, we'll get you down here. $10 for two rolls. So we have A.B. Silver, Chris Brumman, John Smith, and Mr. Zombie. And every donation 
going forward receives a free rosy dime courtesy of Viera Coins. So thanks again to Viera for his generosity and his support on my channel. Now we have dimes everywhere over here. You don't even know. You don't even know. Dimes. Mr. Zombie was in here earlier. Mr. Zombie wasn't in here earlier? Yes, he was. I said he was in here. Oh, he was. Oh, there he is. Mr. Zombie's in the building. All right. So, AB Silver, you get eight rolls and a soccer spin times two. So, AB, good luck. Maria wants us to share her happiness. So, she said, Lady B, I forgot to tell you, I'm going to Idaho for vacation at the end of the month. My brother bought me round trip tickets and lots of cool stuff planned. Awesome, Maria. Oh, you enjoy your vacation. Much deserved. Let's see. AB Silver, good luck. 1986. 1995. 1977. Oh, and AB, we got to get you your rosy down too. Let's get you your rosy down now. We'll get you the rosy down. And AB will also get four entries into the soccer plot, the jackpot. So odds wise, he will be a front runner to take home a prize. But then again, nothing is guaranteed. You never know who's gonna pull out the win. Let's see here. Time is flying, guys. It's already almost eleven o'clock. What is going on? Looks like it's gonna be another late stream for me. Every Friday for the past three weeks, I've streamed for five plus hours, and I actually broke a record on a recent stream where I streamed for six hours straight, guys. Ooh, look at that toner. 1977. We'll pull that out. That's right. AB Silver has won several jackpot prizes, I think including two Morgan dollars, at least two Morgan dollars that I'm aware of, that I can recall at least. Toss the toner back in the grinder. There it goes. Did you hear it? <laughs> Gigi went into the grinder to look at it. It's buried, Gigi. The toner is buried. Yeah, three Morgan dollars. AB Silver has won three. Morgan dollars on my channel. I'm very happy to hear that. And guys, just put a one in the chat if you have won a soccer plot the jackpot item on my stream. I just want to get a consensus to see how many people. And it makes me feel good knowing that a bunch of people have won because that's really the uh, objective is to get. Uh, multiple winners. 1997. Yeah, Michael M won. Mr. Zombie, AB Silver won <laughs> four times. Chris Brumman, Maria, Scott won. Come on, I know there's more than that. I know Mel has won. Mr. Coretta has won. Uh, Breeze has won. Uh, Scott won twice. That's right, Scott. And I think both of them were uh, $10 donations, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct, Scott? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, look at this. This is another toner. Look at this toner. You sure you don't want this toner? This is like a fudge toner. How cool is that? 
Oh, thank you for that silver finder. I definitely try to keep the bar high, guys. Toss it. Well, I'm going to keep it, A.B., because that is a gorgeous toner. <laughs> I don't normally. Yeah, Gigi. Gigi, you can have that. Toner. There you go. You. Say thank you to A.B. Silver. Thank you. <laughs> that looks like a, a chocolate. Oh, baby, we have an oldie here. We have an oldie. Let's hear some opinions. Can we hit some opinions? Can we guess? Is it a Benji? Is it a Walker? Is it a 90 percenter? Because it sure looks like one. We have silver here. We have Walker. We have Benji. I'm going to err on the side of Benji. Gigi agrees. Kennedy says Walker. John says Benji. AB says 90%er. Michael M says Walker. Lady B says, oh my God. Uh, Gold Miner says Benji. 52 Benji. Uh, Coin Silver says Benji. Silver Finder says Boom. Walker. Wesley says Benji. Hey, Wesley. Wesley's in the building. <laughs> Lady B says Walker. Perry R says Boom. Scott Jarvis says 64. Mr. Zombie says 90%er. Maximus says Walker. Maria says Walker. All right. I'm going to stop talking now. Nineteen sixty four, baby. We have a nineteen sixty four Benji Scott Jarvie was correct. You hit it right on the head, Scott Jarvie. That's a nineteen sixty four for A B Silver. I guessed wrong. I thought it was a uh, a Benji based on the uh, how the rim looked. So there you have it, a nineteen sixty four. Like the coin that came out, it was like four divided. One part had a 40% design, the other part had the 90%, then the other part had the walker, and then the other <laughs> part had a Benji. You got to love a 90%, that's for sure, right, Gigi? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, that looks like it's a false alarm. It is 1977. Womp, womp. All right. We have a bicentennial here. We have a 1979. We have a 96 bicentennial and a 1998. All right. So two 40 percenters and one 90 percenter so far. And we have... Uh, I believe 11 rolls left. One more roll for AB Silver. And looks like nothing here. 71, 72, and 86. That's right, 90% silver. The first 90%er I've found in the last two weeks. All right, so AB, we got you the 90 percenter. You get the rosy dime courtesy of Vieira Coins, and let's get you a soccer spin times two. All right, so here's what I'm actually going to do. Uh, I saw on Maximus that he, uh, Maximus's channel, he actually gave the option uh, either to get a spin times two or two separate spins for your uh, dollar donation. So here's how it works, guys. Every $20 gets a, well, the first $20 gets a wheel spin, and every $20 after that gets a multiplier. So what I think I'm going to start doing is giving people the option to choose if they want the multiplier or another spin. And it's really a give or take because the odds are not in your favor. If you want to do two spins, you may be more likely to get a Walker or Benji. But if you get one spin and hit a Walker or Benji, then that will be times two. So I thought that was a pretty neat idea of our Maximus' stream. So uh, I'm going to extend that offer to you, AB Silver, for your $40 donation. Uh, your donation is the only one that applies because you have a uh, two times multiplier. So you can either get two soccer spins. 
or one spin times two. And AB Silver says one spin times two. All right. So here we go. Gigi, would you like to do yeah. the honors? Yes. Yeah. That's a good spin, Gigi. Very good spin. It's going to pass to Benji. Well, it's to the two silver quarters. Two silver quarters times two. Two times two is? Four. That's right, Gigi. Two times two is four. We do math in here, guys. We do math. All right, so four silver quarters for AB Silver. So in this particular case, it actually worked out for you, AB. Four silver quarters, 1943, 1940, 1940, and 1940. And you also get the 90% and the rosy dime. So 90% four silver quarters and a rosy dime. And you also get four entries into the sock of Lotha jackpot. So let's get your wallet here. Gigi, can you pass me AB Silver's wallet? His wallet was empty. Because we shipped out his items, but not any longer. You got nothing but silver going in this wallet. So there you have it, AB Silver. And thank you for the donation. Let's get you your four entries here. Four entries into the soccer plot, the jackpot. And then we have Chris Brummett, uh, Chris Brummett, John Smith, and Mr. Zombie. So here we go. Number 37. And I'm going to write this down before entering it into the jackpot. So we have number 37. We have number 26. We have number 21. And we have number 49. So I'm going to show them as I put them in. 37. 26. 21 and 49. So there you have it, AB Silver. Good luck. And we are going to move on to Chris Brummett. Chris Brummett, four rolls for Chris Brummett. One, two, let's bring these up. Three, four. And Chris, you also get a rosy dime courtesy of Yara Coins. So there's the rosy. And thank you, AB Silver. Really appreciate all the support you've shown my channel, brother. It's always a blast to have you on here. So Chris Brummett, good luck. And let's see, guys. 27 people in the chat. Thank you guys so much for being here. Make sure you smash that like button. And guys... We will be doing free stream giveaways as well. So uh, make sure you comment on that link that I just posted there. Nineteen seventy-seven. This is a nineteen ninety-eight. Nineteen ninety. And we will have an end of stream auction as well. Dead center. I don't believe that's an NIFC. Maria says, please check email. All right. Will do, Maria. I will check after these rolls for Chris Brummett. Gigi's getting tired. She's yawning over there in the background. So I sent some items in for grading, about four items. I sent a Morgan Dollar in. I sent uh, a blank planchet that I believe could possibly be a 1793 Liberty. Uh, 1995 there. Liberty Cent, I believe it was. Large scent. 
And I sent in a 1955 proof uh, Benji. And I also sent two foreign coins that have a mintage of 1,000 in the world. Eh, sleep is overrated, AB Silver. Just drink some more dime shots and you'll be fine. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. Bicentennial. And I'm not seeing anything else for Chris Brummett. Four, seventy-one. All right, Chris. We have the uh, dime here and a soccer pin. I'm sorry we didn't find anything in your rolls, but uh, thank you, AB Silver. I hope I get a nice grade on that as well. All right, Gigi, spawn the wheel for Chris. Come on, Walker. Stop, stop, stop. Everyone, say stop. Walker, boom! Walker for Chris Brummett. That is what I am talking about. Chris Brummett gets a Walker. 1943. Oh, 1943S Mint Mark. Very nice. So there you have it, Chris. You get the Walker and you get the Rosie. And let's get your wallet here. And your wallet has some goodies in here. Look at that. You have the 250-year uh, anniversary commemorative half dollar, Washington. You have the uh, new Marshall Press Pack with the uh, circulated roll of 2017. A bunch of nice stuff in there. And now you get a Walker and a Rosie to add to that. But wait, there's more. You also get two entries into the Soccer Blop Jackpot. And I received PayPal, guys, so I will check that PayPal out shortly. So number 14 and number two. Wait, I need the Soccer Blop Jackpot box over here. So number 14 and number two. Number 14 and number two. For Chris Brummett. So good luck, Chris. 14 and number two. All right. Let's check PayPal, shall we? All right. So we received two separate donations here. We have a donation from Maria, $20 donation from Maria. So thank you for that, Maria. That will be four rolls. And we have a donation from Lady B. Lady B for $40. So thank you so much, Lady B. I appreciate that. And we're going to have to check to see if we are adding a fourth item to the soccer plot, the jackpot. Holy smokes, guys. Let's check this out here. 20, 40, 60, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 190, 210, 230, 250, 290. We are 10 away. We are 10 away from adding a fourth item into the soccer plot, the jackpot. Holy smokes. Thank you guys for the donations. I really appreciate it. So we are going to move on to John Smith. John Smith, two rolls for John Smith. All right. AB says, head into bed, friends. Thanks for the stream, Soccer Plata. Always a pleasure, broski. Thanks for being here, AB Silver, and thank you for your donations, brother. And if you... If you have trouble sleeping, like if, if you hear my email repeating in your head while you're trying to sleep, we'll be here still streaming. So you are always welcome to come back. All right, John Smith, you will get a silver rosy courtesy of Vieira Coins. And you will also get a silver rosy uh, for your donation as well. 
for the ten dollar donation. All right. So John Smith, good luck. So we are ten dollars away from adding to the jackpot, guys. And I'll tell you right now, you guys are gonna want this item. You guys are. Going this is a 1972, 74, Bicentennial. All right, nothing in the first row. Let's see if we can find something here in the second. We're looking for more silver. We found a 90 percenter and two 40 percenters so far. Bicentennial here. Maximus says, I got two Brinks half dollar boxes for Sunday night, 8 p.m. 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. I'm going to have something new. If you donate before the stream starts, you get an extra roll of halves searched. Very cool. So there you have it. Max Smith will be streaming at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Sunday night. All right, so nothing there, John Smith. But you do get the two rosy dimes, and these are in great shape. These are, I would say, A-U-B-U. -U. Look at that. Those are very nice. You see, I can't even stay still. It's the ginger ale, guys. The ginger ale is getting to me. So there you have it, John Smith. Uh, John Smith, you let me know if you want to uh, start up your wallet or you want to send that out as is. And we will get you your entry into the Soccer Plata jackpot. That is number 53. Number 53 for John Smith. So good luck, John. Let's throw that in there. Boom, it's in there. And John Smith wants to restart his wallet. So we will get that going for you, John. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate the donation. John Smith, and I'll just throw it in your wallet. I'll restart it up. All right. All right, guys. So let's see here. Mr. Zombie, two rolls for Mr. Zombie. And Mr. Zombie, you will get two rosy dimes, one courtesy of the donation and one courtesy of Vieira Coins. Maximus says, hope you don't mind me posting that I talk to talk your channel up in my stream too. Oh no, not at all, Maximus. You go right ahead. You already know if anyone needs to plug anything, whether it's promoting their own channel or if they are looking to sell something or whatever it is that they want to put on here, as long as you're not spamming the chat, you are free to do so, guys. Absolutely. Don't worry about it, brother. We grow together. Mike Wolf is back. Guess who's back? How was dinner, Mike Wolf? Oh, look at this. So we have two possible NIFCs for Mr. Zombie. Let's check it out. This is... Oh, it's a 2000. And this is a 95. So completely got full there. 1980. And that looks to be it here. That's actually a pretty clean 2000. So I'll send that. Has some luster still on it. All right, final roll for Mr. Zombie. This is a very nice tone, 1974. That's a 1990, 1971. All right. So, Mr. Zombie, we did not find anything, but 
Toner, a very nice 2000, and you get the Rosie Dimes. So there you have it, Mr. Zombie. And uh, we will also get you your entry into the Soccer Plot, the jackpot. That is number 44. Number 44 for Mr. Zombie. So, Mr. Zombie, good luck. And thank you for the donation. Let's throw that in there. Boom. And let's get your wallet. I believe your wallet is empty. We did send you your package, so let's restart it. All right. So there you have it. And now you have these items in there. All right. Good luck. All right. We have four rolls for Maria. So uh, we have three rolls here. Oh, my goodness. Did I just see a ghost? Maurice is in the building. What's going on, Maurice? I have not seen Maurice here in several months. How are you doing, brother? I hope all is well. Uh, Maurice is a very, very hard worker. So I know, I, I trust me, I know it's Friday. I know you uh, must have had a, a very hectic week. So I really appreciate you uh, popping in. I hope you're feeling all right. And thanks for joining me, brother. Very, very cool to see you here. It has been very long since Maurice has been on the chat. Uh, so Michael Coretta says, Viera Coins, I used the loop today, donated by you, searching a bank bag of nickels. I won it a couple of weeks ago on a soccer plot to stream for top donator. Thanks. Awesome, Michael Coretta. It's definitely a nice tool to have. And I carry mine with me everywhere I go. As long as I'm going outside, I always carry it with me because you never know when you'll need it. And trust me, when you leave it in the, in the house, that's when you'll need it. So you always want to keep it with you just in case. And Maurice is finally over the flu. I'm glad that you're feeling better, Maurice. And I hope to see you here more often, brother. I know you've been working like a maniac. So uh, thank you for, for uh, popping in tonight. All right, guys, we have box number two coming your way. Hold on. Let's rip its head open. We're going to rip this box open. There it is. Box number two. There it is. Box number two. There we have it. We'll try. I'm off Saturday and Sunday. Yes, it's a 10 times magnifier, Maximus, a jeweler's loop. All right, so Maria will grab one roll out of the new box, and then Lady B, you'll get eight rolls out of box number two. So Maria, oh, let's get you your rosy dime, courtesy of Vieira, and let's see if we can find some silver. Good luck. Make sure you smash that like button, guys. We are $10 away from reaching a fourth jackpot item, guys. Can we get there? Nothing in the first row. Oh, you need one, Maximus. Let me know. I can pick one up for you and throw it in your wallet if you like. But definitely, it makes it a lot easier. Do you do you have a uh, USB uh, USB microscope at least? Because that's good for home. But when you are out and about, you want to keep a jeweler's loop. So nothing in the second row. Come on. Let's find some more silver. Let's end this box with a bang. All right. We'll do Maximus. I'll tell uh, Viera to hold one aside for me. 1999. 1980. 
What's going on? The West Point King is in the building. Jeep and John, what's going on, brother? Jeep and John just recently hit a thousand subs. So shout out to Jeep and John. Good to see you, brother. How's your Friday going so far? I did pop in your stream earlier, so I did talk to you earlier. But it's good to see you here tonight on my stream. All right. It's looking like just clad here. But you still get the uh, soccer spin. Oh, Jeep and John, you see what's going on here on the on the right side of me against the wall? That's going up for auction later today. All right, Maria, we could not find anything there, but you get the soccer spin. So let's see if we can pull something for you. Jeep and John's like, um, well, the starting bid for that would be $50. If anyone's interested. That's right. Five zero. Oh, come on, Benji. Come on, Benji. Can we get there? Oh, yes. Benji is in the building. Benji for Maria. Maria gets a Benji. <laughs> There it is 1951 from Denver. So you get the Benji and the Rosie dime. So Maria, I will throw that into your wallet. Congratulations. All right. Let's get your wallet here. Maria, Maria. Another 90 percenter, guys. We found 90 percenters in the box. We found 90 percenters on the wheel. It's a good night. So there we have it. You have some silver in there. And now you get a Benji and Rosie. All right. And now you will get four entries into the Saka Plata jackpot. I'm sorry, two entries, two entries into the Soccer Plata jackpot. That's an entry per $10 donation. So you get number four and number 19. That's number four and number 19. And you will have a chance to take home one of three prizes. Who knows? You have two entries. You may take home two. You never know. And they are in there. So Maria, good luck. That's number four and number 19. What's going on? PNC's in the building. Thanks for being here, PNC. Make sure you guys smash that like button. We will be doing some stream giveaways as well. Uh, let's put the link up here so that you guys can comment for a chance to win. All right, Lady B, you are the last one. And uh, if we receive a $10 donation, we will add a Fourth item into the soccer plot, the jackpot. Just to quickly recap, we have a one ounce Libertad. We have a 1986 commemorative half dollar with my ear reflection on it. And finally, we have a 1968 proof set that will face reveal. So I'm just going to avoid it completely. All right. So three separate items in the soccer plot the jackpot and we are 10 away from a fourth item what's going on hoover thank you for joining me hoover good to see you how is your friday going so far and let's see here let's just refresh to make sure we are all caught up lady b you will get eight rolls that's eight rolls for lady b All right, we are all caught up. So, Lady B, let's get you your uh, your rosy dime, courtesy of Yara Coins. Oh, we just received a ten dollar donation from the Dime Lurker, A B Silver, who was supposed to be sleeping, but probably kept hearing my my email in his head as he's trying to drift away into night night land. So, we just got to a fourth item, guys. So, A.B. Silver, thank you so much for the donation. 
we have got to a fourth item. So before we go through Lady B's rolls, let's take a look at what that item will be. Boom! We have a 2011 American Silver Eagle. So we have well over two ounces of silver, possibly over three ounces of silver. In the jackpot. Are you kidding me? 2011 American Silver Eagle. I told you you guys would want to get to a fourth jackpot item, and I was not lying. So that is a fourth item in the soccer plot, the jackpot. A.B. Silver did it in his sleep. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. That $10 donation got us there. So shout out to A.B. Silver for that. And Lady B, let's get you some silver. Good luck. We have found silver in these rolls so far, so we didn't get sunk at least. We had a 90 percenter and two 40 percenters. AB Silver, my son's year of birth. Sweet. Awesome. And he said, they didn't type this. I'm sleeping. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. It's like, what is that? Uh, telepathy? Is that the term that I'm looking for? That's some magic right there. I don't know how A.B. Silver does it. He didn't type it, but somehow it ended up in the chat. All right. Come on, Silver. And uh, Lady B, you will also have the option to either do a Saka wheel spin times two or two separate wheel spins. It's your choice. So a wheel spin times two. Meaning you spin once and you times whatever it lands on by two or two separate wheel spins and whatever comes out on those two wheel spins. You let me know what you prefer. All right. Decisions, decisions, right, Lady B? So A.B. Silver had that option as well, and he chose one uh, uh, spin times two, and he ended up getting four silver quarters. Oh, we have a 2003 NIFC here. So it's completely up to you. What's going on, Compact? Welcome. Thank you for being here. I have not seen you on the channel before. Oh, Maria's nephew. Well, thank you for being here, and I'm glad that you like the uh, V-Nickel uh, frame art. And thanks for joining the channel. All right, let's look for some silver. And Compact and whoever else has just entered the stream, make sure you comment on that video for a chance to win the free stream giveaways. This is Bicentennial. So we have four more rolls for Lady B. Four separate. Uh, no, so it is uh, either two separate spins or one spin times two. Do I accept Cash App for rolls? Uh, unfortunately, I do not have the Cash App, so it only be able. Uh, I can only accept uh, PayPal, unfortunately. So I, I'm sorry about that. 2010 here. That's a 2010 NIFC. But I appreciate you wanting to contribute to the channel. That's a 2000. Mike says, I'm on cloud nine. I was gifted a 1935 SP's dollar. Oh, that is awesome. Congratulations, Mike Wolf.
All right, come on, Lady B. Let's get some silver, shall we? The good news is that you know you're getting silver in the socket spin, but of course we want to find some in the rolls as well. Thirty-one people in the chat. Thank you guys so much for hanging with me on this late Friday night. So Lady B wants two separate spins. You got it, Lady B. Two separate spins for Lady B. Nineteen seventy-one. And it's really, you know, it's tough to decide the right, the right move to make, because if you get two spins and you hit one walker, then you get another spin and your chances of getting a 90 percenter are harder. But then again, if you do one spin times two and you only get a 40 percenter, then you're really out of luck. So we will see if it was the right decision for Lady B. Regardless, Lady B will get four entries into the Soccer Plata jackpot and will have a chance to possibly get each and every item in that jackpot. Obviously, the odds of getting all four items with those four entries are very, very low. But the point is, it's possible because uh, she has four entries. So we'll see what happens. We have uh ab silver after lady b so lady b you get the two nifc's and you get the uh rosy dime and you get two soccer spins so let's see if it pays off lady b good luck Here comes the Benji. Keep your eyes on the Benji. Boom. Benji in the building. The Benjis are flowing now, guys. The Benjis are flowing. So you get a 1960 Benji. So that could have been two Benjis, Lady B. So let's see. Let's see if the Walker comes out. So 1960 Benji. And let's do it one more time. What's going on, Diane Durbin? Thank you for being here. Whoa, that was like super fast. I don't know what happened with that. Oh, my goodness. Here comes the Benji. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Ah, it's going to pass it. So you get the silver quarter. Silver quarter. Very close to getting two Benjis. How about that? It almost completely paid. So you get a 1941 silver quarter, a 1960 Benji. You also get two NIFCs and a rosy dime. So, Lady B, I do have a wallet account here for you. Let's see here. And you have items in your wallet account as well. Let's take a look. You have, oh, you have a Libra tad. So you might get two. You never know. All right. So there you have it. And this pink thing is actually Gigi's picture that she drew for you a while back. So that's still in there. All right. But wait, there's more, guys. Lady B gets four entries into the Saka Plata jackpot. So, Lady B, I'm going to write down these entries as I say it, and then I will show you as I uh, enter them in. So, Lady B, number five, number 28, number 32, and number 39. So there you go. So that's five, 28, 32, and 39. Michael Coretta says, only two thumbs down tonight. Much better than the other night. That's right, Michael Coretta. I'm winning everybody over. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> 
Or maybe they're like, no, now that he prefers a reaction, we're not going to give him any reactions. AB says, how much for a Gigi picture added to my wallet? That is free, AB Silver. Gigi does it, and she enjoys doing it. And we received another donation here. A donation from Maria. So Maria wants back in. So thank you, Maria. All right. So let's see here. AB Silver, you are up for two rolls. And we will get you a uh, rosy dime times two. Well, actually, you did get the rosy from Viera. So this rosy is for the donation. All donators going forward will receive a rosy dime from Viera. All right. And that is for, okay, so. Maria, that's for your nephew, Compact. All right, so let's put that for Compact. And thank you, Compact. I know he uh, wanted to send the pay, uh, send a donation via Cash App, but uh, I did receive it via PayPal from Maria in your name, so that will work as well. All right, AB. Let's see what we have here in these two rolls. Let's take a look. That's a 2000. Mike Wolf, I need a GG picture so I can add it to my sticker board right next to Saka Plata sticker. Will do. If you guys want a GG picture, uh, I think she's, yeah, she is sleeping. So uh, if you want to send me an email to remind me, go right ahead and do so. Oh, you don't know the email. Oh, damn it. I can't help you. I just can't do it. I can't help you out. Boom! Sakaplata NY at gmail.com. There it is. You guys will be saying it in your sleep tonight, guys. All right. We received another donation here from Triple S. Triple S is in the building. Thank you, Triple S. Triple S wants back in he wants to increase his odds so let's go and i'm sorry uh ab silver for slamming these half dollars down i, I meant no disrespect. all right john smith is sleeping and hearing the email at the same time king sniper is back in the house welcome back king sniper I believe you're right, uh, Wolf. There's definitely something. I think it's a silver quarter, if I'm not mistaken, but I will take a look at that. That's a very nice 2001, but I know that uh, AB would just say throw it back in the grinder, so that's what I'm going to do. Thank you, Triple S. I appreciate the donation, brother. Four separate prizes in the Soccer Plot, the jackpot tonight, guys, including a one-ounce Libertad, a one-ounce American Silver Eagle, a 1968 silver proof set and a 1986 commemorative 90% half dollar. And Perry closed her eyes that time. All right, so AB Silver, we will throw the dime in your wallet. Dimes. And Let's pull up your wallet first. We reactivated it, so it's here somewhere. There it is. AB Silver. Oh, you hear that? That's beautiful. That sound is silver. So more silver there. I will be doing a couple of giveaways, uh, Max. Not necessarily for 50 likes, but I will be doing giveaways. So make sure you guys comment on that random comment picker link. You must be present to win. All right, AB, let's get you one more entry into the Soccer Plata jackpot. And that is number 36. Number 36 for AB Silver. So 36 for AB, and it's in there. So good luck, AB. 
We are moving on to Compact. Compact is a first-time donator, so we're going to get him a rosy dime for his donation, a rosy dime for Vieira, and a rosy dime because it's a first-time donation. So there you have it, three rosy dimes already for Compact. And Compact, good luck. All right, Kennedy, you have a great night. And don't worry if if email in this in your sleep. Thank you for being here, Kennedy. It's always great to have you here. And welcome back for sure. I will see you next time. So we rent we have run cold here after finding that 90 percenter. But the soccer plot, the jackpot, will make it all better, guys, because we have four amazing prizes. And it's thanks to you guys and your support. So I really appreciate the contributions to my channel. All right. It's not look, looking like anything here. We can't go wrong with three rosy dimes for a $10 donation and an entry into the soccer plot, the jackpot. So you could possibly, for a $10 donation, win an item of including a one ounce silver coin so only time will tell all right so compact you let me know what you would like to do you have the option to create a wallet account or we can just send this right out to you you let me know what you prefer and uh thank you so much for the donation and for being a part of the channel and shout out to Maria for uh, giving you that V nickel gift. All right. So if you want me to send it out, just put send out. If you want me to open wallet, just put open wallet. And we're going to put these uh, three rosy dimes, just about BU condition. And start wallet. You got it, Compact. Thank you so much for doing that. It does help. So I am grateful when you guys create a wallet account. Although you guys are not required to do so. All right. So there we have it. And we are moving on to... Oh, we have to get Compact a entry here. So Compact, we will get you one entry into the soccer plot the jackpot and that is number 35 number 35 for compact so that's 35 and it's in there all right let's put that over here all right and the final donation of the night as of right now is silver stack and stoner so four rolls and triple S, you will also get a rosy dime courtesy of Vieira Coins. So there you have it. And let's take a look here, guys. And Jeep and John is waiting on the auction. Hey, I thought you spent too much money, Jeep and John. I have some awesome items for the auction, guys. Yeah, we are on the last donation. So if anyone else would like to enter the soccer plot, the jackpot, now is the time to speak up because after this, we'll announce the winners of these jackpot items. And let's take a look here. Looks clad to me. And it is. It's a 1974 and horrible shape and this is a 1971 oh the crazies are out i'm hearing sirens all over the place here in new york city my days of being out past 11 <laughs> in the city are over unless it's with mrs plata that is which is not often. We do not go out as often as we used to. 
That's called growing up, guys. What can you say? But if you are able to, hey, more power to you. All right, Silver Stack and Stoner. This box looks to be cold here. We started a new box and have not found anything in the new box but NIFCs. So that's a handful of clad. Oh, so sad. 31 people in the chat. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. We're approaching midnight on the East Coast, and we still have an auction to do, and we still have giveaways to do. So stay tuned. All right, Silver Stack and Stoner, let's get you a soccer spin. Hopefully, that will make up for the uh, skunk rolls here. CCO is in the building. What's going on, CCO? Thank you so much for the shout out video, brother. I appreciate that mail call video earlier. Oh, no Benji this time, but can we get two silver quarters? Boom! Two silver quarters for. Uh, Silver Stack and Stoner. So there you have it. That is two silver quarters for Silver Stack and Stoner. 1947 and 1940. So there you have it. Two silver quarters and a silver dime. And we will get you two more entries into the Saka Plata jackpot. Let's pull your wallet here. Now, your wallet was empty not too long ago, and look at that. Morgan in there. You got some nice coinage going on and more silver to add to the collection. And let's get you the two entries. You are the final donation of the night as of right now. And here are your entries. You get number 52 and number eight. Number 52 and number eight. All right, Maurice, you have a great night. Thank you so much for, for being here. Definitely missed having you on the stream, so hope to see more of you. I stream on Tuesday nights at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time and Friday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So hopefully you could pop in on another stream as well. It's always great having you on the stream, brother. 52 and 8. That's 52 and 8 for Triple S. And they are in there. All right. Let's just make sure I did not miss anyone here. And if anyone is looking to donate, just flag me down, get my attention, because we are about to get into the soccer plot, the jackpot right now let's remove this box here so you guys can take a look at the beautiful dollar bills there oh down goes the dollar bill good thing they're in the uh protective casings here there it is look at that it's so beautiful it's so glorious all right guys i'm gonna put the pad here to uh just hold it in place all right so it is <laughs> it is jackpot time guys it's jackpot time and then we will do some free giveaways afterwards but we're doing the jackpot so here we go these are the items in the soccer plot the jackpot a one ounce libertad what's going on dmc and mountains back one ounce libertad 1986 commemorative 90% half dollar 1968 proof set face reveal look at that that is camo for sure and finally the 2011 American Silver Eagle all right so there we have it guys Four separate items. I will pull a number for each item, starting with the Libertad, then the commemorative half, then the proof set, then the American Silver Eagle. So thank you all for donating and good luck. Good luck. Here we go.
I'm gonna shake it. Let's actually pan the camera up so you guys can see clearly what I'm doing here. Perfect. All right, here we go. We're gonna shake it. We're gonna, shake it. We're gonna stir it. Shake, shake, shake it. We're gonna flip it. Shake it. All right, guys. I think that's good. Here we go. The winner of the one ounce Libertad is number eight. Triple S Silver Stacking Stoner. Triple S, you won the one ounce Libertad. 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 So Triple S, you won the Libertad. Let's put that in your wallet here. Congratulations. Another jackpot win for Silver Stack and Stoner. The next item here is the commemorative 90% half dollar. We're shaking it. We're stirring it. We're going to flip it, shake it, stir it, flip it some more, shake it up, stir it up. Here we go. The winner of the 1986 commemorative half is number four, Maria. Maria, you won the 1986 commemorative half dollar. Congratulations, Maria. Maria, Maria. You remind me of the West Side Story. So you get the United States Liberty Coin. Congratulations to Maria. We will put that in your wallet. Let's pull your wallet here. So congratulations, Maria. Not sure if she's still in here, but we're putting that in her wallet. All right, next item is the 1968 proof set. Here we go. Silver proof set, that is. We're going to flip it, shake it, stir it. Flip it, shake it, stir it. Oh, the soccer block sticker or coaster almost came off. All right, here we go. The winner of the 1968 silver proof set is number 49. Number 49. That is AB Silver. AB Silver does it again. AB Silver, congratulations. You have won the 1968 silver proof set. Congratulations to AB Silver. So we will put that in wallet AB Silver. I believe he's on the bed. <laughs> All right. Oh, there he is. AB Silver says, please rerun. I don't collect them. Oh, man. All right. Well, we are going to do this again. AB Silver wants to pay it forward to someone else. So that's awfully cool of you, AB. All right. Run it back. Run it back. All right. Here we go, guys. The bills are falling again. And the winner is. Number five. Number five is Lady B. Lady B, you have won the 1968 Silver Proof Set. Lady B, congratulations, Lady B. You get the 1968 Proof Set, and we will put that in your wallet. 
All right. Congratulations to Lady D. All right, guys. The final item is the 2011 American Silver Eagle. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to shake it up. We're going to stir it. We're going to shake it up, stir it. And the winner of the 2011 American Silver Eagle is number 52, Silver Stacking Stoner. Silver Stacking Stoner doubled up tonight, guys. Congratulations to Silver Stacking Stoner. You have won not only the one ounce Libra Tad, you have also won the 2011 American Silver Eagle. You just won two ounces of silver for a $40 donation, not including the silver that you got for your donation. So congratulations, Silver Stack and Stoner. You have won the 2011 American Silver Eagle. How about that? Silver Stack and Stoner. And you won the 1921 BU Morgan dollar not too long ago as well. So congratulations. Unbelievable. All right. Well, we're going to do a couple of stream giveaways. You know what, guys? Let's do one more. Let's do one more. We're going to do a 1965 SMS set, guys. This is actually sealed. This is a sealed 1965 SMS set. Never been opened. So I don't know what the heck is in here. But if you want me to open it, I can open it to verify that 1965. But it's sealed. So we are doing a bonus prize. Bonus prize. Here we go. And the winner of the 1965 SMS set is... Number 32, number 32, Lady B. Lady B, you have doubled up as well. Congratulations to Lady B. You have doubled up as well. So Lady B won two prizes. Silver Stack and Stoner won two prizes. Uh, Maria won one prize. So how about that? Lady B, let me know if you want me to open this. This is sealed here. This is sealed. So, Lady B, if you would like me to open it, I can. If not, I can send it to you and you can open it. So, you let me know what you want me to do here. 1965 SMS set. And then we are moving on to the giveaway, free giveaways, and the auction. So, let's move. The soccer plot, the jackpot box. So let me know, Lady B, what you would like me to do. And guys, if you haven't already commented, these, all right, leave it sealed. Awesome, Lady B. So congratulations. So guys, we're going to do the random comment picker to give away three items, three separate items, guys. A lot of giveaways tonight. A lot of giveaways tonight. All right. So I am pulling up the random comment picker. So you will have time to comment on that video if you haven't already done so. Silver is at 1824 right now, huh? All right. Now the first winner will have an option to choose from three separate prizes. So here we go. We have 53 unique comments. 
53 unique comments and you must be present in order to win. Good luck. Chris Brummett. Chris Brummett says fun, fun, fun. And we have been having a very fun time. And Wesley says the not so ramen, uh, random nose picker. <laughs> Chris Brumman, you have 20 seconds to claim your prize. Let's pull up the uh, countdown clock, and I will give you 15 seconds here. Since that took about five seconds. So Chris Brumman is here. Chris Brumman is here. So Chris, you have an option, brother. A rosy dime, the V nickel, or the barber dime. I think everyone knows what Chris might pick here. The rosy dime, the V nickel, or the barber dime. What's it going to be, Chris? And what will you guys choose? The rosy dime, barber dime. The Barber Dime. So, Chris, you have won the 1899 Barber Dime. 1899, Chris. Congratulations. And let's put that in your wallet as well. Congratulations to Chris. All right, next, next one here. Next giveaway, we have someone that just got in there. Steve Woods. Well, we are giving away two more items, and then we will start with the uh, Black Eagle Silver Certificate. Nate Flynn. Nate Flynn, are you in the chat? Nate Flynn says, good luck, all. You have 20 seconds, Nate Flynn. 20 seconds to claim your prize. Nate Flynn, are you here? Michael M., <laughs> I just donated five for a man to hug a cactus. You are sinister, my friend. No mercy at all. All right, moving on. I am sorry, Nate. Refresh. And keep it going. Now I'm picturing a guy hugging a cactus. Gregory Lee! Gregory Lee was just talking about how he was not having any luck. And what do you know, Gregory Lee? Fun laughs and smiles. Silver, silver. Congratulations, Gregory Lee. Now, as a formality, I did see you comment, but I need to see you comment right now. 20 seconds for Gregory, and he's here. All right, Gregory, you have an option. The rosy dime or the V nickel. The rosy dime from 1964 or the V nickel from 1908. Rosy dime from 1964 or the V nickel from 1908. Which is it going to be, Gregory? And help him out. What would you do, guys? Would you take the dime or the V nickel? Michael M says he would take the dime. No surprise there. Dimes. Mike Wolf said I will take the V nickel. And Gregory Lee is going to take the V nickel. Congratulations, Gregory Lee. Make sure you send me your uh, full name and mailing address so that I can get this out to you. Congratulations to Gregory Lee. Well deserved, brother. Gregory Lee. You also have the option to open a wallet account. It is free, so if you do want to open a wallet account, just let me know. You could uh, you could say send it out or open wallet. It is completely up to you. Whatever you prefer is fine with me. All right, final item is the rosy dime, and here we go. Good luck. Mr. Zombie. Mr. Zombie. 
says, we'll see you there. He was here earlier. I did see him uh, donate. So Mr. Zombie, are you still in the chat? You have 20 seconds to claim your prize. Mr. Zombie, are you here? Mr. Zombie is here. Congratulations, Mr. Zombie. You get a 1964 rosy dime. So there you have it, Mr. Zombie. I will throw that in your wallet. And we will get into... The auction, guys. We are getting into the auction uh, portion of the stream. So for those that are unaware of the uh, auction rules and regulations, no numbers in the chat during the auction unless you would like them to be counted as bids. Also, if you are a first-time bidder, I would request that you send $1 PayPal confirmation uh, donation that will be applied to your uh, auction win. And if you do not win, we will refund it to you. All you have to do is send it via PayPal friends and family to sankaplatany at gmail.com. So there you have it. Uh, also, shipping for items totaling five ounces or less will be uh, $4. For six, uh, six ounces or more will be $8 flat rate box with insurance. All right, guys. Am I forgetting anything? Oh, yes. If you have an active wallet account, meaning an item inside your wallet, then you will waive the shipping fee, guys. That's correct. You will waive the shipping fee. If you do not have an active wallet account, then the shipping fees will apply to you. All right, AB Silver, thank you so much for being here, brother, and thank you so much for the donations. And I hope to see you on the next stream Tuesday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. All right, let's drink some ginger ale. We are starting with the Black Eagle. All right, Mr. Coretta. And yes, Steve Woods, you do have a wallet. So this Black Eagle is not in the condition that you saw on Silver Nitrate's mail call. If you did see it, that Black Eagle was top. You have more of those, but I figure for the price range that it went, it went for $190, and, which is a great deal for that specific quality. I did not want to put one more of those up in an auction. So this is in decent shape. All the corners are intact. You see a tiny crease here. You have everything going on there. The, uh, the corners are all intact, as you see. See some uh, slight damage going across here. But where it really plays into role is the back. There's two creases here. So nothing like the condition that you saw on the on uh, the mail call, but I tell you what, for the price that I am asking for, it is a steal, guys. This is still could be very good. Absolutely, Gregory Lee. Uh, I did uh, respond to your previous email, so we can definitely talk. And I have plenty available of these guys, but they vary in condition. So I wanted to put something up that was in a uh, price range that wouldn't, uh, that more people can participate and try to achieve a Black Eagle like this. So we're going to start the bidding here at $50. $50 starting bid for the $18.99 Black Eagle Silver Certificate. Can we get a starting bid of $50 for the Black Eagle Silver Certificate? So the bidding starting at $50, $50 starting bid. $50 
$50. Looking for $50 starting bid for the Black Eagle. If you need any more close-ups, feel free. And as far as pinholes are concerned, there are three pinholes, very, very tiny pinholes on this bill. But it is intact, guys. This is a solid bill. It definitely will grade higher than 10 possibly 12 starting bid 20 uh, I'm sorry starting bid $50 $50 starting bid and if we have no takers then we will move on to another item $50 starting bid going and we have new Marshall at 50 new Marshall at 50 50 50, looking for 51, 51. Do we have 51? New Marshall at 50, looking for 51, 51. Do we have 51? 18.99 silver certificate. What's going on, New Marshall? New Marshall at 50, looking for 51, 51. Do we have 51? New Marshall at 50, looking for 51, going once now. I'm going to have to pop the chat out here because it did not enter my going once. So bear with me, guys. All right. Going once, guys. New Marshall at 50, looking for 51, 51. Do we have 51? Aaron is back. Guess who's back? Welcome back, Aaron. So we have this Black Eagle currently at a bid of $50 from New Marshall in town. 50 looking for 51, 51. Do we have 51? Going... Twice now. Steve Woods at 51. We have Steve Woods at 51. 51 looking for 52. 52. Do we have 52 for the 1899 Black Eagle? And I want to be completely transparent, guys. This is the bill that you are bidding on. It is intact. It has two creases here, but all four corners are present. It is not missing any corners. So if you were to get it graded, it would not have, it would not come back with a uh, with details on the uh, rip here. We have new Marshall in town at 60. New Marshall at 60, looking for 61, 61. Do we have 61? New Marshall at 60, looking for 61, 61. Do we have 61? That's what you call a bump, guys. New Marshall at 60, looking for 61, 61. Do we have 61? New Marshall at 60, going once now. Steve Woods coming back at 61. Steve Woods at 61, looking for 62, 62. Do we have 62? Steve Woods at 61, looking for 62, 62. New Marshall says, it's yours, Steve. All right. Steve at 61, going once. 61, looking for 62, 62. Do we have 62? 1899 silver certificate. Black Eagle. Steve Woods at 61, looking for 62, 62. Do we have 62? Going twice now.
Absolutely. This is a great bargain indeed, guys. Bills in this condition, easily 80 and up. All right. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to Steve Woods for $61. Congratulations on the $18.99 Black Eagle. <laughs> and I will not fold to put in wallet. I am just going to put a tag on the uh, frame here <laughs> and have your name on it. And this will be kept separate. So $61. Today is the 10th already, guys. $18.99 Black Eagle. Congratulations, Steve Woods. Now, this is when currency was real, guys. Look at that. So there we have it, Steve Woods. Paper airplane. Here we go. No. <laughs> Let's put this aside completely. All right, guys. And once again, guys, on my auctions, I am open to suggestions. So if anyone is looking for something specific, and if I have it in stock, then I will gladly, gladly make it available to you guys so check this out guys i'm going to pull out some foreign silver foreign silver here now before i make this available i just want to verify i believe it's 90 percent 90% silver and wait till you see the toning on this thing. The toning on here is immaculate. So this is from Israel. It has 90% uh, silver content. And we're talking a mintage of 49,000. Boom. Let's see if I can get the toning on there. Look at what in the world, guys. Like, really? This is from Israel. So it's uh, Israel 10 Lira, 1974. And look at that. So there you have it. Low mintage alert. Low mintage alert. Under 50,000 minted in terms of the proof coins. I will pull it up. 49,657. Starting bid here is $20. $20 starting bid. $20 starting bid for the Israel 10 Lyric. We have John Smith at 20. John Smith at 20, looking for 21. 21, do we have 21? John Smith at 20, looking for 21. 21, do we have 21? And you can see we have Aaron at 21. 21, looking for 22. 22, do we have 22? 21, looking for 22. 22, do we have 22? Low mintage alert. Under 50,000 of these minted. Israel 10 Lirit. Aaron at 21. Looking for 22. 22. Do we have 22? Aaron at 21. Looking for 22. Do we have 22? That's some very nice toning on it as well. 
and you can't really pick it up, but it has kind of a pearl gray look to it. Very cool coin. John Smith at 22, 22, looking for 23, 23. Do we have 23? Yeah, you can see it there. John Smith at 22, looking for 23, 23. Do we have 23? 90% silver. 90% silver. John Smith at 22. Going once. 49,000 of these minted. Israel 10 Lyric. 1974, guys. 90% silver. Twenty-two. Looking for twenty-three. Twenty-three. Do we have twenty-three? John Smith, going twice now, and this is a twenty-sixth anniversary of independence, guys. Twenty-sixth anniversary of independence for Jerusalem, Israel. We have Aaron just edging out gold miner at 23. 23, looking for 24. 24, do we have 24? For the Israel Jerusalem 10 Lyric mintage of 49,000. That's it, guys. Under 50,000 minted on this planet. Aaron at 23, looking for 24. 24, do we have 24? The mint is Jerusalem, Israel. So it has Israel on here. Cajuns in the building. I'm getting the haircut and watching. Please say hi to everyone since I can't type. If I do, Missy's going to cut your hair too. I don't have hair, Cajun. You know I'm bald, man. <laughs> well, thanks for popping back in. Getting the, getting the haircut ready for the weekend. Aaron at 23 going once now. Aaron at 23 looking for 24, 24. Do we have 24? Mintage of 49,657 coins. Israel 10. Lyric 1974. Yes, it is the 26th anniversary of independence. That's right, John. Aaron at 23, looking for 24, 24. Do we have 24? Going twice now. 23, looking for 24, 24, 24. We need a 24. Can we get a 24? Israel 10, Lyric 1974. Mintage of 49,000. Sniper alert. Sniper alert. Gold miner at 24. Duck for cover, guys. Sniper alert in the building. 24. Looking for 25. 25. Do we have 25? 24. Looking for 25. 25. Do we have 25? Gold miner at 24. Looking for 25. 10. Lyric. Israel. 26th anniversary of independence. 90% silver. Gold miner at 24 going once now. Twenty four looking for 25, 25. Do we have 25? Gold miner at 24, looking for 25, 25. Do we have 25? Going twice now.
Here we go. 24, looking for 25, 25. Do we have 25? All in. All out. Last call. And we have a sniper, Aaron at 25. Aaron said you can't snipe the sniper. Back and forth they go. Gold Miner and Aaron, back and forth they go. And Gold Miner is out. Aaron at 25, looking for 26, 26. Do we have 26? Aaron at 25, looking for 26, 26. Do we have 26? Going once. How about that? What a battle that was to start off. Aaron at 25, looking for 26, 26. Do we have 26? Israel, 10 lyric. Absolutely, Aaron. If you can hang on, I know exactly where that's going. Quite the world coin collection. Aaron at 25, looking for 26, 26. Do we have 26? Going twice now. Low mintage of under 50,000 in the world, guys. Here we go. All in. All out. Oh, and a sniper. New Marshall is sniping. We have snipers all over the place, guys. I hope you have good cover. New Marshall at 26, looking for 27, 27. Do we have 27? New Marshall at 26, looking for 27, 27. Do we have 27? How about this battle? This is an Israel 10 Lyrit from 1974, guys. 26th anniversary of independence. 90% silver. 26 grams is the weight, and the mintage is 49,657, guys. Are you kidding me? New March of 26, look at 27, 27. Do we have 27? Going once now. Jeep and John's like, I don't want this one. I want to see what else you got. Jeep and John, you're going to want to see what else I have, my friend. And if you have anything specific you're looking for, feel free to inquire. New Marshall says, play the game. <laughs> New Marshall at 26, looking for 27, 27. Do we have 27? Going twice now. New Marshall at 26, looking for 27, 27. Do we have 27? Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the toning isn't even picked up on the camera as as well as what I'm seeing in person. All in. All out. Last call. And... Oh, my goodness, what a snipe. After Aaron says, it's yours, bud, he says, 27, not. Those are fighting words in my block. <laughs> Aaron at 27, looking for 28. What a perfectly timed snipe. That's misdirection, guys. Aaron at 27, looking for 28, 28. Do we have 28? New Marshall at 30. New Marshall at 30, looking for 31, 31. Do we have 31? New Marshall at 30, looking for 31, 31. Do we have 31? It looks like New Marshall did not blink an eye. He just fired right back. We have some snipers going at it one on one. Mano e mano. Who is going to win? Who is going to fold? And Aaron says, okay, I bow down. But no one believes you, Aaron. No one believes you at all. Not until it's official. <laughs> New Marshall at 30. Look for 31, 31. Do we have 31? Going once. Aaron says, I'm out. 
dot 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 New Marshall at 30, looking for 31, 31. Do we have 31? <laughs> Gold Miner says, what the five fingers say to the face? Slap. New Marshall at 30, looking for 31. Going twice. I don't know how Jeep and John is able to type in his sleep. The talent is remarkable. New Marshall at 30, look for 31, 31. Do we have 31? All in. All out. Last call. And sold to New Marshall for $30 in an epic one-on-one -on -one battle congratulations new marshall you take home a coin that was only minted fifty thousand less than fifty thousand so congratulations new marshall congratulations all right so that is thirty dollars new marshall That's the Israel 10 Lyric. And today is the 10th. So congratulations to New Marshall. And New Marshall, we will reactivate your wallet. Here it is. And there's your item. So congratulations. All right, guys, we are moving on to the next item. We have a 2014 Panda, 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 Panda. Starting bid for the 2014 Panda is $20. What's going on, Farrell? Welcome. Glad to have you here. Deep and John, you let me know if you need to see a certain item. I have a bunch of items and I can go all night. I, don't, I know you're on your <laughs> zombie mode right now. PNC at 20. 20, looking for 21. 21, do we have 21? Lady B at 21, looking for 22. 22, do we have 22? Wesley at 22, looking for 23. 22, looking for 23. 23, do we have 23? 22, looking for 23, do we have 23? 2014 Panda. Lady B at 24. 24, looking for 25. 25, do we have 25? Lady B at 24, looking for 25, 25. Do we have 25? Two thousand and fourteen, one ounce. Panda, 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 panda. Oh, I got something nice coming up too, guys. I mean, everything here. I mean, I, I really have some nice items, guys, to show you. Wesley is out. PNC is out. Lady B at 24. Looking for 25. 25. Do we have 25? Going once now. Lady B at 24. Looking for 25. 25. Do we have 25 for the 2014 one ounce panda? 24, looking with 25, 25. Do we have 25? Going twice now. Gold miner with the snipe. Gold miner at 25, looking for 26, 26. Do we have 26? You guys are really getting a knack for uh, timing. To snipe perfectly. You're you're uh, anticipating the cadence, and you're perfectly executing these snipes. Gold miner at 25, looking for 26, 26. Do we have 26? Gold miner at 25, looking for 26, 26. Do we have 26? Lady B coming right back at 26, 26, 26. Looking for 27, 27. Do we have 27? 2014 one ounce 
Three nines, fine, silver. Gold miner at 27. Back and forth they go. 27, 27, looking for 28, 28. Do we have 28? 27, looking for 28, 28. Do we have 28? 2014, one ounce panda. Gold miner at 27, looking for 28, 28. Do we have 28? Going once now. Gold miner at 27, looking for 28, 28. Do we have 28? One ounce. 2014 Panda. Lady B coming back at 28. Back and forth they go. Who will fold first? Gold miner versus Lady B in one corner. Gold miner at 27 in the other corner. Lady B at 28. Looking for 29, 29. Do we have 29? Gold miner is out. Lady B at 28 going once now. 28 looking for 29, 29. Do we have 29? Lady B at 28 looking for 29, 29. Do we have 29? Going twice now. One ounce, 2014 Panda. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to Lady B for $28. Congratulations, Lady B. What a battle that was. Lady B, congratulations. Congratulations to Lady B. That's $28 for the uh, 2014 one ounce panda. And today is the 10th. All right. So we will throw that into your wallet full of the prizes that you also had. All right, next item, guys. Next item is this beautiful 1917 $1 Washington. Now, this is actually in better condition, arguably better condition than the Black Eagle. That's right, Lady B. I know you are anticipating it. You can never trust Gold Miner and Aaron when they say they're out. <laughs> so here we have it. As you can see, we have all four corners intact, guys. It's beautiful. Very minimal creasing. I mean, if you can take a really close look here. I'm sure you'll find some creasing, but for the most part, very decent shape. You have a crease going here down the middle, and you have some staining over here, but for the most part, pretty solid bill. And for the starting bid, guys, you can't go wrong. Starting bid here is $50 for the 1917 Washington $1. $50 starting bid. And we have Wesley at 55. Wesley at 55, looking for 56. 55, looking for 56, 56. Do we have 56? Wesley at 55, looking for 56 for the 1917 Washington $1. Pretty good shape, guys. It's not, not going to get you a top-notch grade, 
But for the price, definitely, definitely a good buy. Wesley at 55, looking for 56, 56. Do we have 56? Wesley at 55, going once now. Fifty-five looking for fifty-six. Fifty-six. Do we have fifty-six? Fifty-five looking for fifty-six. Do we have fifty-six? And payment received. Thank you, Steve Woods. I appreciate that. Wesley at fifty-five looking for fifty-six. Going twice now. Wesley might have uh, scared everybody off on this one. Nice little bump to 55. And here we go. 1917. George Washington, $1. All in. All out. Last call. And. Sold to Wesley for $55. Congratulations, Wesley. Very nice deal on this bill here. So congratulations, Wesley. $55, brother. 1917. Very cool piece of history heading your way, Wesley. And that is uh, today's the 10th. This is the 1917. All right. Let's put that here. And I will put it with the other bill away, far, far away from this area. All right, guys. Next item here. Next item. We have a 1925 Stone Mountain commemorative half dollar. 1925 Stone Mountain commemorative half dollar. Starting bid. $10, $10 starting bid for the 1925 commemorative half dollar. We have John Smith starting us off at 10, 10, looking for 11, 11, do we have 11? Gold miner bumping it to 15, 15, looking for 16, 16, do we have 16? Nell taking it to 20, 20, looking for 21, 21, do we have 21? Nell at 20, looking for 21, 21, do we have 21 for the 1925 Stone Mountain? We have Mel just edging Wesley out. We have Wesley at 21, looking for 22, 22. Do we have 22? Gold miner at 22. See gold miner at 22, looking for 23, 23. Do we have 23? Gold miner just edging Mel out at 22. We're looking for 23 for the 1925. We have Mel going to 25. 25 looking for 26. 26. Do we have 26? We see 26. Gold miner at 26. 26 looking for 27. Gold miner looking for, uh, we're looking for 27 now. Gold miner at 26 looking for 27 for the 1925 Stone Mountain. And Mel is out. Gold miner at 26, looking for 27, 27. Do we have 27? Gold miner at 26, looking for 27, 27. Do we have 27? 
Go Miner at 26, going once. Go Miner at 26, looking for 27, 27. Then we have 27 for the 1925 Stone Mountain. Going twice, guys. Gold miner at 26, looking for 27, 27. Then we have 27. Gold miner at 26. Then we have 27 for the 1925 Stone Mountain. Here we go. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to Gold Miner for $26. Congratulations, Gold Miner. Congratulations. You got a 1925 Stone Mountain commemorative half dollar. And today is the 10th. All right, we will put that in your wallet. Let me uh, pull that up here. And then we will move on to another item. And feel free to suggest any items that you're looking for or actively collecting. If I do have it, I will bring it up. All right, gold miner. Here's your wallet. And there's your items. And we are adding to that collection. So thank you for that, gold miner. All right, we're going to move on to another item here. Proof commemorative quarter. I may not have that on hand, Aaron. I don't believe I have that on hand, but let me make a notate. Let me make a notation on that. And we will get it for you. Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. Well, we don't have that specific commemorative quarter, but we do have a different commemorative quarter. This is a 1982 proof. This is a half dollar. This is a commemorative half dollar George Washington. Commemorative half dollar George Washington, 90%. With the COA, starting bid here, $9. $9 starting bid for the George Washington commemorative half dollar. And we have Aaron at 9. Aaron at 9. Look at 10, 10. Do we have 10? And I will definitely uh, make a note on the commemorative quarter for you, Aaron. We have Aaron at nine, looking for 10, 10, do we have 10? Aaron at nine, looking for 10, 10, do we have 10? And let's pull this out so you guys can see the reverse here. We have Lady B at 10. Lady B at 10. Look at her 11, 11. Do we have 11? 1982, George Washington, 250 year anniversary, 90% half dollar proof. We have Aaron at 11. 11, look at her 12, 12. Do we have 12? Aaron at 11, look at her 12, 12. Do we have 12?
George Washington, 250 anniversary. 11, look at 12, 12. Do we have 12? Aaron at 11 going once. We have Steve Woods at 12. Steve Woods at 12. Look at 13, 13. Do we have 13? Lady B is out. Thank you, Lady B. Steve at 12. Look at 13, 13. Do we have 13? Steve at 12, look at 13, 13, and we have 13. Steve at 12, going once. Ninety percent proof, half dollar, commemorative 250 year anniversary, George Washington. That's right, Steve Woods. I did see that video. He had it slabbed, but still a very cool coin. He did have it slabbed. All right, going twice now. Steve Woods at 12. Look at 13, 13. We have 13. Steve Woods at 12, looking for 13, 13, and we have 13. George Washington, 250th anniversary of birth, 1982. Here we go. All in. All out. Aaron with the snipe at 13. Aaron with the snipe at 13. Sniper alert, sniper alert. Duck for cover. Aaron at 13. <laughs> I think we all can guess what that means. Aaron at 13. Look for 14, 14. Do we have 14? Aaron at 13. Look for 14, 14. Do we have 14? George Washington, 90% proof, half dollar. Aaron at 13, going once. Aaron at 13, looking for 14, 14. Do we have 14? Steve Woods says 14 for Yankee. 14 for Yankee. <laughs> Steve Woods at 14, looking for 15, 15. Do we have 15? Lady B wants the 2001 D American Buffalo Commemorative. Got it, Lady B. Put that on my list. Steve Woods at 14, going once. Aaron says, it's yours, bud. He said, it's yours, bud. Steve Woods at 14, look at 15, 15, and we have 15. Steve Woods at 14, going twice. Steve Woods at 14, look at 15, 15, and we have 15. Here we go. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Steve Woods at fourteen dollars. Sorry about the delay. I made a typo. So sold to Steve Woods at 14, but here's what I'm going to do for you guys. Here's what I'm going to do. Luckily, I have not one, but two available. I have two available here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it available at 
$13 for Aaron and for Steve. So Aaron and Steve, Aaron, if you agree, then Steve will receive it for 13 as well. That is so that you both can add this to your collections. At $13 each, you let me know. And Aaron says yes. So there you have it. And like I said, guys, when I have multiples, I want to make them available to you guys so that you can add it to your collection as well. So Steve, $13, not $14. That's $13. Steve says, take both, Aaron. Well, you want it, Steve. So if you if uh you let me know. But it's yours at 13 rather than 14. Absolutely, Steve Woods. One is yours and one is Aaron. But you will be getting it at $13, and so will Aaron. So you won't be getting it at the $14 that you won the bid at. We'll knock that down to $13 for both of you. That way you both get it. So that is uh, the 1982. Proof. Commemorative. Half. And... This is for Steve. And this is for Aaron. All right. So there we have it. Bear with me, guys. So one for Aaron and one for Steve to add to your collections. And let's keep this going here. That's some grass, I think. Um, oh, thank you, New Marshall. When I do have multiples, I definitely want to spread the wealth. So, uh, Steve Woods, this is going into your wallet. Let's pull it out so that you can see that I did create your wallet. Bear with me. We have tons and tons of wallets here, guys, so please bear with me. All right, so Steve Woods, this is your wallet, minus the bill, of course, minus that black eagle. But you have the two Morgans, and you have some uh, foreign currency as well, uh, Merc Dime. So we will add the... Uh, Proof commemorative 90%er. And Aaron, let's get you your wallet. And then we will move on to the next item, guys. So I apologize for the delay. All right, here's your item. Jeep and John, I bought an O over CC Morgan. Holy smoke, where did you get that from, Jeep and John? So there you have it. Congratulations to Aaron and to Steve. All right, guys, we are moving on to the next item. And PayPal received as well for Steve Woods. So thank you so much. Check this out, guys. This is the United States Korean War Memorial coin, guys. Brace yourself. This is gorgeous. Check that out.
And let's get the reverse here. This is a $1 commemorative United States of America 38th anniversary commemorative coin. I believe it is 90%. Let me uh, verify. I do have the C, uh, COA here. 1991 Korean War Memorial coin. And I just want to make sure you guys know it's 90% silver. Starting bid here is $20. $20 starting bid for the Korean War Memorial coin. $20 starting bid for the $1 commemorative coin. This is ab absolutely gorgeous. I mean, there's not a scratch on it that I can see. So I am starting the bid pretty low. This is a one dollar coin, ninety percent. Starting bid twenty dollars, twenty dollars starting bid. Look at the twenty. We have gold miner at twenty, twenty. Look at the twenty one, twenty one. Do we have twenty one? Gold miner at 20. Look at the 21, 21. Do we have 21? $19.91. dollars Korean War Memorial Coin. Gold miner at 20, look at 21, 21. Do we have 21? Deep and John bid 115. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Jeeps. No worries. Gold miner at 20, going once now. This is absolutely gorgeous. Steve Woods, got to go to bed. Best of luck to everyone. Do not understand. You all stay up for this. <laughs> yep, I usually stay up to about 1.30, sometimes even 2 o'clock on a Friday. So thank you for being here and hanging with us. And I'll be streaming on Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, in which the auction will begin earlier as well. So you have a good one. Have a good night and have a great weekend. So we have Gold Miner at 20. Look for 21. 21. Do we have 21? Going twice. This is a steal at 20, guys. I'm letting you know right now. 1991 Korean War Memorial Coin. 90% silver. It is a 38th anniversary commemorative. 20, look at the 21, 21. Do we have 21? Here we go. All in. All out. Last call and sold to gold miner for twenty dollars. Gold miner, you have got an, an epic, I can't even talk, an epic deal, my friend. So, congratulations, gold miner. $20 for the commemorative dollar Korean War. So let's uh, get that down here. Gold miner. 
That is a 1991 for 20 bucks. Incredible deal there. All right, guys, bear with me as I move the uh, chat box a little bit to the right there so that I can see what I'm doing. All right. Gold miner, we'll add this to your wallet. All right, let's see this here. Check this out. I showed this earlier during the coin roll hunting portion of the stream. This is a sterling silver spoon. I was not born with a silver spoon in my mouth, but I do have one here available tonight. This is over one ounce of sterling silver. Let's see if we can get the close up here. Trying to get a close up of the stamp so that you guys can see, but basically it says sterling silver yes so uh we're gonna start the bidding here at twenty dollars twenty dollars for this sterling silver spoon over one ounce and i can uh, pull the scale out but it'd be hard to to weigh it with a small tiny scale. So if anyone is interested, the starting bid here would be $20. If not, we can move on to another item. But I figure I'd throw something a little bit different into the mix tonight, as I normally do on the auctions. So $20 starting bid, any takers at 20. 20, looking for 20 for the sterling silver sugar spoon. Twenty going once now. Looking for twenty. Looking for twenty. Twenty starting bid. Sterling silver sugar spoon. Has a formality. Going twice. Mr. Zombie says, how much for 10 silver quarters? We can auction off 10 silver quarters. I do have silver quarters here. And last call. Unsold. We will put this back in the collection. And I may have some sugar with it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We have, at Mr. Zombie's request, 10 silver quarters. Uh, 10 silver quarters right now, according to melt value, would be $32.75. So let's call it $33 starting bid for 10 1930s. Washington silver quarters. 10 1930s Washington silver quarters. Starting bid is $33 for 10 1930s. Washington quarters. Any takers on the Washington silver quarters? Let 
Mr. Zombie. You want to do five, five Washington silver quarters? All right. Well, we haven't received any bids for the ten, so we will we will revise it. And we oh we do have a bid. We have a bid at thirty four from Chestnut, David Chestnut. Welcome, brother. So we do have a bid at thirty four. For the 10 Washington silver quarters, 34, looking for 35, 34, looking for 35. These are all pre-1940 Washington silver quarters. David at 34, looking for 35, 35. Do we have 35? David at 34, looking for 35, 35. Do we have 35 for the 10 Washington silver quarters? We have David at 34 going once now and we are right about at melt value here 34 dollars for the 10 washington silver quarters pre-1940s we have some 39s 38s 37s and 36s David at 34, going twice now. Oh, here we go. Sam Washington Silver Quarters. $34, looking for $35, $35. Do we have $35? All in. All out. Last call. And Sold to David Chestnut for $34. You just received 10 pre-1940s quarters at just about melt value. So congratulations. Congratulations. The camera has a mind of its own here. Congratulations to David Chestnut. So let's make a, let's write that down here on the tag. And David, you do have a wallet account. So that is 10 Washington silver quarters, $34. And today is the 10th. So well done to David Chestnut. What's going on, Jay Corona? Thank you for joining me, Jay. Appreciate you being here on the stream. Uh, all right, David emailed me. Let's see here, David. Oh, no worries, David. No worries at all. I know you're good for it, brother. All right, so let's uh, enter this in your wallet. And let's actually take a look at your wallet here. And here's your items. And we will add to that total. So there you have it. Working at 1 a.m. in the morning. Oh, man, Jay. On a Friday at that. Well, it's 
Someone's got to put in some work around here, huh? All right. So uh, let's see. Mr. Zombie requested five Washington silver quarters. So five Washington, five more Washington silver quarters. These are 1940s Washington silver quarters. And the uh, starting bid here will be $17. Oh, you can always request constitutional, David. I am open to uh, suggestions and requests. So $17 starting bid for the 1940s Washington Silver Quarters. We have Mr. Zombie starting us off at 17. Mr. Zombie at 17, looking for 18, 18, and we have 18. Mr. Zombie at 17, looking for 18, 18, and we have 18 for the five 1940s. Washington Silver Quarters. So it's a 1948, 1941, 1945, and two 1940s. And Jay Corona works at a hospital. Oh, I see. Oh, that is brutal, man. All around the clock, 24-7. Definitely, we appreciate what you do there. Jay Corona at 18. Jay Corona at 18. And Jay, if, uh, because it's your first bid, I would need you to send a uh, $1 PayPal to this email if you do win, just to verify uh, your PayPal um, email address. Uh, Mr. Zombie at 19, 19, look for 20. Mr. Zombie at 19, look for 20, 20. Do we have 20? Nineteen forty-eight, nineteen forty-one, nineteen forty-five, nineteen forty, and nineteen forty. We have Jay Corona at twenty. Jay Corona at twenty. Looking for twenty-one, twenty-one. Do we have twenty-one? Jay Corona at twenty. Looking for twenty-one, twenty-one. Do we have twenty-one for the five Washington Silver Quarters? Zombie coming right back at twenty-one. Zombie at 21, look for 22, 22. Do we have 22? Zombie at 21, look for 22, 22. Do we have 22? Zombie at 21 going once now. Twenty one, look at the twenty two, twenty two. Do we have twenty two for the five Washington Silver Quarters? Going twice now. And payment, uh, verification payment received, Jay Corona. So if you do not win anything, I will refund you that $1. If you do win something, then that will uh, be negated from the total. So thank you for that, for your, uh, verifying. And we have Mr. Zombie at 21, looking for 22, 22. Do we have 22? All in, all out, last call, and so to Mr. Zombie at uh, $21 for the five Washington silver quarters. So congratulations. Congratulations to Mr. Zombie. And uh, let's get that down here. That's five Washington silver quarters. 
for $21. All right, congratulations. I will put that into your wallet. All right, we are going to move on, guys. We have this very nice conditioned Venezuelan coin here. Check that out. It's in pretty decent shape. If you can see a rim there. 1960. So this is uh, 50 centavos. 50 centavos. We're going to start the bidding here. Uh, I will check to see what dates the Mercs I have here. They're laying around here next to me, so I will check for that. So we're going to start the bidding here. This is a very, this is in very nice shape, almost proof like I would say. We'll start the bid. It does have some scratching on it. So we'll start the bidding here at $3. $3 starting bid for the Venezuelan 50 centavos. And it's about the size of a dime. $3 starting bid. So shipping for five ounces or less is $4. And for six ounces or more is a flat rate box that's eight bucks. So we have starting bid of $3 here, $3 starting bid. And Mr. Zombie sees the $3, $3 starting bid. And we are looking for four, three looking for four, four do we have four? The, the Venezuelan 50 centavos. And Jay Corona, if there's anything specific you were looking for, I can also uh, take requests. And if I have it available, I will put it up for auction. We have Mr. Zombie at three. Any other bidders? Mr. Zombie at three, looking for four, four. Do we have four? Zombie at three, going once three looking for four do we have four zombie at three yes it is silver eight i believe it's 83 percent silver I believe so. Going twice now. Three looking for four, four. Do we have four? Three looking for four, four. Do we have four? From the Venezuelan 50 centavos. Thank you for that, Jay Corona. All in, all out, last call, and sold to Mr. Zombie for $3. Great deal on that, Mr. Zombie. Very nice condition. Still has some very nice luster to it. So congratulations. All right. Bear with me, guys. All right. So that's three dollars for the uh, nineteen sixty Venezuelan fifty centavos. All right, so let's see here. 
This is a 1921 Merc. This is a 1934. This is a 1936. This is a 1924. And we'll do a lot of five here. And this is a 1937. Oh, no worries, Michael M. Have to do what you have to do. All right, let's add this to uh, Mr. Zombie's wallet. All right, so we have five Merc Dimes here. Five Merc Dimes. Starting bid here is nine dollars nine dollars usually i'll do a, a flash sale for two dollars a piece i'm going even lower than that starting bid is nine dollars nine dollars starting bid for the five merc dimes pre-1940s we have gold miner at nine nine look for ten ten do we have ten Gold miner at nine, looking for 10, 10. Do we have 10? David Chestnut at 10. David Chestnut at 10, 10. Looking for 11, 11. Do we have 11? 10, looking for 11, 11. Do we have 11? Let's uh, go over the years here. We have gold miner at 11. 11, looking for 12, 12. Do we have 12? Gold miner at 11, looking for 12, 12. Do we have 12? Oh, I'd rather see it in person, Michael M. I mean, I'm dying to see it. But uh, once I have it in my hand, I definitely want to, uh, you know, I don't want to ruin the surprise. This is an S mint mark here. That's an S. Uh, let's see here. And that's a 1936 S. This is a 1924 Philly. 37 Philly as well. So one with a mint mark on it, at least that I can see here. So the 1936 S is the only one with a mint mark. Everything else is from Philly. So we have gold miner at 11, look at 12, 12. Do we have 12? Sounds great, Michael Lem. Looking forward to it, brother. Thank you so much. Thanks again for that. All right, gold miner at 11 going once now. Eleven, look at twelve, twelve. Do we have twelve for the pre nineteen forties Merc dimes? Yeah, they're pretty. De they're pretty decent shape. And we have a snipe, Mister Zombie at twelve. Mister Zombie at twelve. Twelve, looking for thirteen, thirteen. Do we have thirteen? Twelve, looking for thirteen, thirteen. Do we have thirteen? Do we have a nineteen twenty, a nineteen thirty four, nineteen thirty six S, nineteen twenty four? Pretty decent shape, and a nineteen thirty seven. Mister Zombie at twelve, looking for thirteen, thirteen. Do we have thirteen? 12, looking for 13, 13, and we have 13. Going once. Zombie at 12, looking for 13, 13, and we have 13. For the pre-1940 Merc Dimes, five, pack of five. Going twice now. Zombie at 12, looking for 13, 13. Do we have 13? 
Dami at 12, looking for 13, 13, and we have 13. Here we go. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to Mr. Zombie for $12. Sold to Mr. Zombie for $12. Congratulations, Mr. Zombie. And let's uh, fix this uh, tripod here. There we go. Sorry for the uh, camera technical difficulties. All right. And guys, feel free to suggest any more items as well. We have five Merc Dimes for Mr. Zombie. That is uh, $12. <laughs> Almost. Just trying to get the camera to uh, sit still. I think the camera's had a little bit too much to drink. Uh, I do have some Morgan dollars here. I uh, do not have any peace dollars, uh, Mr. Zombie, but I am planning on getting some. I know Dizzy would love to hear that as well. All right, so 12. Uh, so that's the five pack of Mercs. All right, and we'll add that to your wallet. So we'll we'll move on to a Morgan dollar here. All right, let's move on to a Morgan. All right, here we go. Got any more Libra tads? I do have one Libra tad left, but the bidding I would have to start pretty high, Lady B, if I'm being honest, because I did pay a premium. So when I use it for the soccer flat, uh, soccer flat, the uh, jackpot, you know, it is me just basically paying it forward to you guys to make it available in that way for your donations. But to sell it outright, I would need, you know, a uh, certain premium for it. So uh, the bidding would have to start at uh, $27 if I were to do that, which is very high for, for a starting bid. Normally I like to keep the bidding the starting bids low so that people can have an opportunity. All right, so let's see here. We are going to, and I'm sorry about that, Lady B, but I definitely can obtain some more as well. All right, well, we have an 1889 Morgan dollar. Uh, yes, I did the Libertad. I did the Psychoplot, the Jackpot giveaways. We gave away four separate items, including a 2011 American Silver Eagle, a one ounce Libertad, a 1968 Silver Proof Set, 1965 SMS Set, and a 1986 Commemorative Half Dollar. Uh, yes, that was. Before the auction, Aaron, we gave four, uh, five separate prizes away, and we had three separate winners. So this is an 1889 Morgan. Pretty beat up, guys. This is clearly a circulated coin. This is uh, from Philly. So we're going to start the bidding here. You know, let's start it low. Let's start it at $19. $19 starting bid for the $18.89 from Philly. Can't go wrong with the starting bid of $19. We have Gold Miner starting us off at $19. Gold Miner at $19. Liquid 2020, do we have $20? Uh, 
We have Mel's Coin Corner at 20. 20 looking for 21. 21, do we have 21? 20 looking for 21. 21, do we have 21 for the 1889 Morgan dollar? It's circulated, but the details are still there in the Liberty and in the lettering, the years. There you see. Can't go wrong for the price, that's for sure. So we have Jay Corona just edging out gold miner. Jay Corona at 21, 21, look over 22, 22. Do we have 22? Oh, that, that I can do, uh, Aaron. I have plenty of proof sets. Do I have some here? I may have to get the get it from the uh, safety deposit box, but are you looking for any years in specific? You let me know. So we have Jay Corona at 21, looking for 22, 22. Do we have 22? Jay Corona at 21, looking for 22, 22. Do we have 22? And silver proof, right? Silver proof sets. All right, Jade Corona at 21, going once. Twenty-one looking for twenty-two. Twenty-two. Do we have twenty-two? Eighteen eighty-nine. Morgan dollar from Philly. Jay Corona at twenty-one, going twice now. Eighteen eighty-nine. Morgan dollar. Here we go. All in, all out, last call, and sold to Jay Corona for $21. Congratulations, Jay Corona. Your first auction win on my channel. So I appreciate you being here. And you're getting the Morgan Dollar for $21. So that will actually uh, uh, mean that the shipping would only be $3 since you already PayPal the $1. So shipping will only be $3 as opposed to 4 So let's get that down here. That is $21. For the uh, 1889 Morgan dollar. And uh, that's plus three for shipping for a total of $24, which even then is still a great deal for a Morgan dollar. So, uh, congratulations. Let's put that in a flip for you. And be sure to. Uh, also, email me your full name and uh, mailing address so that I can have it on file if you grant me permission to uh, have that on file. The email is sakaplataNY at gmail.com. Silver rounds. All right. I have plenty of silver rounds, so I'll, I'll bring some out as well. All right, bear with me. All right, thank you for that, Jay Corona. I will mark it down as paid. That was lightning fast, so I appreciate that. Okay, so let's get some silver rounds going here. There's a specific, there's a specific silver round that I am looking for here. 
And if I do not find it, oh, here it is. Here we go. So this here, do I have a turtle? No, I do not have any more turtles, David. Uh, if I do, I, I will try to. I will try to get some more. I did auction off the last turtle. So check this out, guys. This is a rare coin here. It is around. It is around, but it does have a year on it. So let's pull this out. And it's pretty worn, but it is a proof. This is a one ounce, one silver freedom. But check this out. This is 1985 Core Dialin Mines. So uh, if you look this up, I will give you guys time to look it up, or I can just pull up some information for you guys. So it's a 1985. And there you have it here. On eBay right now, $39.95. That's probably a listing price. So I'm not going to go by that. Uh, I do not have any Soviet, but I do have a bunch of foreign silver that you will you will love. Oh, so it did sell for $35.99. So there you have it, but that's in much better shape. So what I'll do is I'll start this here at $20, $20 starting bid. You clearly saw it sold for $35.99, guys. I think this is representative of the Idaho mines. So uh, we have Aaron at 20, Aaron at 20, looking for 21. Aaron at 20, looking for 21. Aaron at 20, looking for 21. Do we have 21? So the company actually uh, was founded 90 years ago. Also, share some info if you would like, Aaron. Uh, according, it is located in the northern part of Idaho. But other than that, really don't uh, have much more information. So we have Aaron at 20, looking for 21. Aaron at 20, looking for 21. Lady B at 21. Lady B at 21, looking for 22. 22, do we have 22? Great lake to fish. Great road to rally around also. A lot of good places to shoot. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, you know, when you see something like this, 1985 wasn't that long ago, but a lot has changed within a short period of time. So you can imagine. We have Lady B at 21. 21, looking for 22. 22, do we have 22? 21, looking for 22. 22, do we have 22 for the 1985? Idaho Mines. Aaron coming back at 22. Aaron coming back at 22. Yeah, they're all selling for $30, $35 here. That's pretty awesome. So we have Aaron at 22. For the 1985. We have Lady B at 23. <laughs> Mickey's still going, huh? Yeah, me and Mickey have talked about some pretty uh, creative ideas as well. So stay tuned for that. We have Aaron at 24. Aaron at 24. Looking for 25. 25. Do we have 25? Aaron at 24, looking for 25, 25. Do we have 25? 
Lady B is out. Aaron at 24 going once. Aaron at 24, looking for 25, 25. Do we have 25? 1985. One ounce round. Going twice. Oh, by the way, Aaron, congratulations on that cap bust. I think. Uh, you did purchase one, correct? On uh, Mickey Robbins Banks channel yesterday. All right, here we go. All in. All out. Last call. In. Sold to Aaron for $24. Congratulations, Aaron. Great deal on that. What year was that? Was it 1822? Oh, uh, Silver Nitrate got a great deal on a cap bust on my uh on one of my previous auctions. I think he won it for like $90. 1821. Very nice. 1821. That is crazy. That was just a different world. John Witt. Oh, I do I do have the Aztec calendar marked down for you, uh, Gold Miner, but I have not had any luck acquiring that as of yet. But I'll definitely be on the prowl for that, my friend. All right, so congratulations to Aaron. Yeah, that's incredible. $24 for the uh, 1985 one ounce round. All right. Let's add that to your wallet. I do have I do have Mexican pesos. Let's see how old I have available right here. And this is all the uh, foreign stuff that I have, guys. So I was not kidding around when I said I had a bunch of foreigns. So we have a, uh, let's see here. This is a 1958. Let's see if I have anything older. This is a 1979. Oh, another Mexican coin, 1968. And yet another one, 1978. <laughs> I didn't even realize I had this many. And, oh, I have a Bermuda crown. I picked these up today for the first time. I have these in my inventory. All right, so. Exactly. So, uh, and these are, these are uh, well tested and authenticated. You always want to make sure. You bring a magnet and a scale because there are a lot of counterfeits out there. So uh, these are authenticated. All right. So this is the uh, 79 that I have here. How cool is that? 30, I believe that says 39 grams of sterling silver. So we're going to start it off here, guys. 
This is 1979. This is a lot of weight here, guys. Look at this. That is a lot of weight. This is 30. Where's my jeweler's loop? Maybe I can see it on camera better. 33. 33.6 grams, guys. So I do want to uh, check the current melt on that at sterling so bear with me while i pull up so that's uh 33 wow 33.625 at sterling silver that's grams not ounces oops <laughs> i said 565 dollars <laughs> all right so we'll start it at That's one troy ounce, correct? Yes, you're correct. All right, so uh, we're going to start this at $19. $19 starting bid. $19 starting bid. And we have Aaron bumping it to 25. Aaron at 25. Looking for 26. 26. Do we have 26? Aaron at 25. Looking for 26. 26. Do we have 26? We have Jay Corona at 27. Jay Corona at 27. Looking for 28. 28. Do we have 28? Aaron at 28. Looking for 29. 29. Do we have 29? Back and forth they go. Aaron at 28. Looking for 29. 29. Do we have 29? The 1979 Mexican one ouncer of sterling silver. Aaron at 28, looking for 29, 29. Do we have 29? We have Jay Corona at 30. Jay Corona at 30, looking for 31, 31. Do we have 31? Jay Corona at 30, looking for 31, 31. Do we have 31? A nice battle going here, guys. Jay Corona at 30, looking for 31, 31. Do we have 31? Aaron says shoot, shoot. We have shoot now. <laughs> 1979, one ounce sterling silver. Jay Corona at 30, looking for 31, 31. Do we have 31? Going once. Jay Corona at 30, looking for 31, 31. Do we have 31 now? 30, looking for 31 now. Going twice. Thirty, looking for 31, 31. Do we have 31? Here we go. Oh, Lynn. Aaron with the snipe at 31. Sniper alert, sniper alert. Aaron at 31. Looking for 32, 32. Do we have 32? Aaron at 31. Looking for 32, 32. Do we have 32 now? Aaron with the snipe at $31. And Jay Corona does not blink an eye. He says, let's bump it to 33. 33, looking for 34 now. 33, looking for 34, 34. Do we have 34 now? Aaron says, it's yours, bud. Jay Corona at 33. Going once now. This is a pretty big coin. Thirty-three, looking for thirty-four, thirty-four. Do we have thirty-four? Jay Corona at thirty-three, going twice now. Thirty-three, looking for thirty-four, thirty-four. Do we have thirty-four? The one ounce sterling silver, nineteen seventy-nine. Plata, you're that. Oh, Lynn. 
Oh, loud. Last call. And sold to Jay Corona for $33. Congratulations, Mr. Corona. On that pretty nice chunk of silver you have there. There's some weight on there. So congratulations to Jay Corona. That's, that's $33 for the 1979. All right. So today is the 10th. And let's see if it fits in this flip. That's a big chunk of silver there. It does. It fits nicely, actually. So there we have it. Nice addition to the collection. All right, I'm going to pull out. Ooh, that's nice. So I have here plenty of uh, foreign silver. If anyone is interested in a specific country, I can go through it. I do have more Mexican silver if you guys are interested. I do have more Morgan dollars. I have more constitutional. Let's see here. This is incredible. These are really cool. And David says paper. David says paper. And if you ask, you shall receive. So let's pull out some paper. All right, check this out, guys. We have a PCGS graded 1923 silver certificate. This is graded very good. So uh, PCGS currency graded. Here's the serial number and the plate if you need it. Now, as you know, the grading costs can be quite ex expensive. So I would have to start the bidding here at $23. $23 starting bid, graded at very good. So it is certified. And we have David at 23. David at 23. Looking for 24. 24. Do we have 24? David at 23. Looking for 24. 24. Do we have 24? PCGS graded. Very good. 1923 silver certificate. David at 23 going once. And 23 is a great deal. I started the bid as low as I possibly could without losing any money. So 23, very good grade here. PCGS, 1923. At $23 going twice. So 
23 is looking for 24. 24, do we have 24? 23 looking for 24. 24, do we have 24? Here we go. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to David Chestnut for $23. Very good deal on that, my friend. Congratulations. And Jay Corona, thank you so much. Yeah, wow. I'm, I'm saying it myself, David. I am saying it myself. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I have an offer for you, David. If you want that one, you can have it. You want it fair and square, but I do have an offer for you. I just see this here. I have just seen this here. All right, so I have something in a better grade, the same exact one, but it is a 12 here. It is a fine 12. I can swap it out for you at the price of $40. Now, you do not have to take this deal, but it is a fine 12. So it's completely up to you. You can get this steal at 23, or you can upgrade the quality at $40. So it's completely up to you if you need to see it side by side. Pretty significant difference, but it's really up to you if you need any close ups on it. I can provide some close ups for you, but what a deal! $23. I just wanted to uh, offer you something and still at a, an amazing price. You know, certification costs about. $35. So uh, having it certified at the fine grade, you will definitely. All right. So you'll get the eight. And I don't blame you, my friend. You got a great deal on that. I just did want, I did want to give you the option to obtain the uh, one in better condition. So congratulations, David Chestnut, $23. For the uh, silver certificate. And it's at the point where we do have 14 people in the chat. So I am going to have to start the starting bids a little higher than I normally would, would only to not lose out. This, fortunately for me, I did not lose out on this. But um, you got an epic deal, my friend. So $23. 1923 silver certificate. PCGS. And this, I will not put this in your wallet because I do not want to damage or bend it. So I will have this off with the other currency. All right. Anything else, guys? Anything else? Let's take a sip of the ginger ale, shall we? We're at two in the morning, so we may just do one more. We may just do one more auction item for the night. So you guys let me know what that auction item will be. 
if you have any suggestions, that is. What's going on, Silver Finder? Welcome back. Yes, I'm still going. We are past five hours now. We are going to be wrapping up very shortly, but uh, I may just do one more item. Egyptian. Gold miner wants Egyptian. I do have Egyptian. I have big Egyptian or small Egyptian. That's the question. Do you want a large Egyptian coin or do you want a small Egyptian coin? Because I have a, a large Egyptian coin here. Go big or go home, right? Check this out. How cool is this? So this is an, an Egyptian coin. I believe it does have a low mintage. And you know what? Why not? Let's pull some information. I will pull some information for you guys. I did have information on this already because I did have uh, one prior. Okay, so it is an Egyptian pound from 1981. And I believe it's 90% silver, but I could be wrong on that. Okay, it is 72% silver. The weight is 15 grams. But guys, the mintage here is 50,000. A low mintage indeed. 50,000. Can I get a clarity here? Can I get some clarity on my camera? There it is. All right, so it is a low mintage of 50,000. It's 72% uh, silver, weighing in at 15 grams. We're going to start the bidding here at $20. $20 starting bid. $20 starting bid for the low mintage Egyptian pound. And we have gold miner starting us off at $20 for the Egyptian pound, 50,000 minted. And new marshal, thank you for the payment, new marshal. So we have gold miner at 20, look at the 21, 21 that we have, 21. This is the last item of the night. Unless I get another request after this one, but as of right now, we'll play it by ear. Gold miner at 20. 20, look at 21, 21. Do we have 21? Maria is still in the building. And the rain has begun. Oh, man. I wonder if we'll be getting some rain over here because of the humidity that we've ex we've been experiencing. Gold miner at 20, look at 21, 21. Do we have 21? Gold miner at 20, look at 21, 21. Do we have 21 for the Egyptian pound? Low mintage alert, low mintage alert. Gold miner at 20, going once. Gold miner at 20, looking for 21, 21 for the low mintage of 50,000 for this Egyptian pound. Gold miner at 20, looking for 21, 21. Do we have 21? Gold miner at 20, going twice now.
Gold miner at 20. Looking for 21. 21. Do we have 21? Mintage of 50,000 for this Egyptian pound. 72% silver. And we have Aaron with the snipe. A nice little rivalry going on between Gold Miner and Aaron. Aaron with the snipe at two in the morning. Aaron is sitting down calm as a breeze. And the snipe. Aaron at 21. Looking for 22. 22. Do we have 22? Aaron at 21. Looking for 22. 22. Do we have 22? And Gold Miner says, yours. Do we believe him? Do we believe Gold Miner? Aaron at 21. Going once now. <laughs> That's right. Aaron's not buying it, Gold Miner. He says, we don't believe you. You need more people. So we have Aaron at 21 going twice. Low mintage of 50,000 for this Egyptian pound. 21, look at the 22, 22. Do we have 22? Here we go. All in. All out. Last call, and there it is. I didn't even start typing. <laughs> I was anticipating, and look at that. Gold miner went from 22, and Aaron struck right back at 23. Gold miner with the right hook, Aaron with the left uppercut, and we have a slugfest going on here. Slugfest indeed. Aaron at 23, looking for 24, 24. And Aaron with the kill shot, according to Gold Miner. I don't know. Gold Miner still might be breathing. Aaron at 23, looking for 24, 24. Do we have 24? Aaron at 23, looking for 24. Going once. I tell you what, I really enjoy low mintage coins. Aaron at 23, looking for 24, 24. Do we have 24? Aaron at 23, looking for 24, 24. Do we have 24? Going twice. Here we go. All in. All out. Last call. And Sold to Aaron for $23. Congratulations, Aaron. Nice pick up there, my friend. We'll put that in a flip for you as well. So $23 for the low mintage Egyptian pound. Incredible. I'm sorry, $23. $23. That's the 1981 Egyptian pound. And today is the 10th. All right. Awesome. I love the map idea that you... Uh, that you had on your mail call when you uh when you were talking about putting the pins on there that's a really cool idea you know something else that they have as well uh at home goods in my area we actually came across a map that you scratch off 
the uh, portions of the map where you either visited or where you collect the coins from that country. So you actually use a coin to scratch off that portion of the map. So I thought that was uh, really cool. A uh, short sure thing, Lady B, you know the drill. Just shoot me an email, uh, confirm your uh, mailing address. That way, when I uh, see, when I check my emails in the morning, I will be reminded to uh, ship your wallet. Yeah, it's a really cool thing. It, it was only like twelve bucks. I actually bought one for uh, for a family member because they do travel a lot. So, but I think it's a great idea to use that for uh, collecting purposes as well. Like, oh, I got this coin from Egypt. Let me scratch that off the map. And it's color coded as well. So makes for a nice little piece of art. All right, Aaron, I am putting this in your wallet. All right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap it up here. We are past 2 a.m. on the East Coast and been streaming for five hours and 17 minutes. But another very exciting stream. I really had a great time. So thank you guys so much for being here and for being so supportive of the channel. And uh, I do have a full-blown auction in the works that I would like to do. Uh, I kind of like having the uh, coin roll hunt with the auction at the end. Uh, but at the same time, I do have plenty of great items that I'm excited to show you guys. So we barely scratched the surface. So thanks again, guys, for all those that donated, for all those that just hung out. I really appreciate you guys being here. And uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will see you guys on Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Take care, everybody.